thanks. Thanks, you two. Don't know what for, but I guess for Lantern Ride coming out? That's a good reason. That's a good reason. Lantern Ride should be coming up soon, right? Lantern Ride? Everyone I can't hear yet. Everyone busy buying things to make their homes more festive now. Yeah. Mm, wonder what this year's theme is going to be. Oh, Partying. Can't wait to find out. <laughs> Partying is the theme. Hey everybody, welcome back to the new Lantern Right. I'm so excited to see what it's about. I can't wait. Maybe Cloud Retainer's in it. I have no idea. Haven't been spoiled somehow, and I really hope Ning's involved in it somehow too, because I feel like it's been a while since the last time we saw Ning. Also, let me make this a bit more vibey, because this is great and pretty and all, but I mean, let's get into the ambiance, right? Now we're talking. That's Lantern Right right there. This is definitely the nicest thing about Lantern, right? It always looks so good. It's just so right, not intended pun. Anyway, hi everybody. Welcome back to another video. I can't wait. Lantern Ride is here. Let's just get into it by clicking this little thing right here. Vibrant Harriers Aloft in Spring Breeze. We got Gaming here. We have, of course, Ganyu and Shenha. And Cloud Retainer apparently is very prominent in it too. As the year's end approaches, the annual Lantern Ride is about to begin. As is customary, you and Paimon return to Liwa Harbor once again, and as expected, you encounter some familiar faces. Yeah, I might as well read this because it's just so pretty. The Orioles bask in spring, the heavens present auspices. That's how you pronounce that, I'm sure. That's the whole quest, take a walk. That's all there is to it this year. Ah, but you know this teleport always looking nice. That's why I didn't put you here. That's why I make you come here every time for the start. Uh, don't make it day. Don't ruin my immersion from the get-go. Hey, look at that, Charlotte. Really? Charlotte's everywhere. It is day. My imagine. I never thought she'd see you two together. Why? Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. We're just like, what? You two? She's like, yeah, good to see you too. Sorry, not very polite. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? Lantern ride preparation every year. <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. Oh. Okay. I want a kite. Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? Oh. Well, yes. And... Yes, and. Nice improv. <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's Lantern Rite is kites. I had not heard that. I had seen the kites, though. Oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. Yeah, I'm the same. Liyue Harbor is always changing. I like the topic. So it is only fitting that or the theme. Should change in turn. Sure. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. Okay. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. I always say that. I say that all the time. No, I don't say- what the hell? I'm no thief. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuan Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue? Yeah. Harbor? That's what it was about. About- okay, so you are- you're the reason. Cool. But- Oh. All I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. That's worth I'm a lot not of sure money. That quite counts as fostering cooperation. Relations are like half the success of a rich person's business, I promise. In the end, <laughs> we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making uh -huh. with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. <laughs> wow. Mechanical lifting device? Cloud Retainer gonna be mad. Sounds pretty impressive. Gonna be like, I could have made that. I could have made that in less than 40 nights. Uh -huh. Why would you need to add something mechanical? <laughs> True. Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. Has she? I don't get it. What are you saying? When there's no wind? How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. What? But as soon oh my god, a whopper wind, flower kite. You can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Uh huh. Experience Same. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Sure. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. Uh-huh. It's about time we had the power Ooh. to make a kite fly, don't you think? You know that that feels really subliminal. Now a nation ruled by humans. I guess that has been the topic of Liyue for a while. It's been like, no, we don't need the Adepti anymore. We can do it ourselves. And then, like, the Chising proved it. Kinda. During that, the Liyue arc. But at the same time... Dude, the dragons are coming back. The bishops, they're, they're coming, dude. I'm telling you. The easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. That's not a bad idea. Sounds awesome. Right? Yeah. I also thought it was a novel idea. <laughs> Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. Well, because it came from your pocket. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Wow. Our new mechanical so many kites are already available Look, they're, to they're... purchase from a stall in the harbor. Actually, we're having trouble keeping up with demand. I, I was gonna ask if I could buy. I want that goldfish one. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. Uh-huh. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Sure. Cool! Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just <laughs> as much as Paimon! <laughs> uh, 
toys? Yeah, I was gonna say. They're not exactly toys. Well. You see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Mm hmm. What do you wait? What do you think it is then? Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I yeah. suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. What did they used to be for you? But to me, there's so much more than that. Okay, let me know what. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity uh -huh. to touch the sky. Yeah. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. Okay, but I mean, this doesn't mean it can't be a toy. There's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just oh. waiting to be found. Stop. Hello? Kaching, you're right. Send them love, send them a word, send them homeward bound. I don't know why <laughs> she just stopped. I think maybe she's waiting to be found, perhaps? In the past, poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. Yeah, I think it's pretty, but I also think it can still be a toy. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, mm -hmm. but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. Sure. That's the kuching we know. Always thinking five steps ahead of everyone else. <laughs> well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. Just from that one poetic intervention? <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I'm happy to yap on. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. Oh, uh, let's hear it then. For example, Come on. whenever a kite blew away, uh -huh. people would say it was the adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. Wow, they turned it positive. That way... You can turn an yeah, unfortunate exactly. event into an auspicious one. Yep. What about something more fun? Do you know anything like that? <laughs> You're boring me, Kaching. <laughs> Paimon. Can you stop saying boring stuff? Say fun things. More fun. Mm-hmm. Hmm, let me think. I'll give you a minute. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. Okay. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. Lovely. My grandfather told me that back when he was a boy, yeah. children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. Whoa. First, it's you like use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Yeah. Then, you draw a design of your choice on this a piece of paper. This actually sounds fun. Paste it onto the frame and tie on the string. I want to make I want to make a kite. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. And that's the most difficult part. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites. I've heard about Cut this. The string and let them fly free. Uh huh. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. <laughs> a lot of years ago, I went to the beach around here, and a lot of people were doing a similar kind of thing. It wasn't kites; it was more like lanterns, kind of like the Shao lanterns, where they released a bunch of them. No one cares. Mm hmm. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> yes. Jot all of this down. Jot it all down, Charlotte. Hmm. Well, for example, freedom. I knew it. Kites I knew in the shape it. of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, I knew happiness, freedom. or the desire to break free. To be fair, anything with wings is this. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? If it is a fish, it means you are hoping for luck and and peace and quiet. The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. Uh-huh. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Yeah. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. It also makes sense. Oh my god, a jade chamber would be so cool. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Please talk about the fish. Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Or Mondstadt. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. Mm-hmm. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. What are these they dudes could be scheming? A useful reference. Okay. That would be a huge help. That would be massive. Great. Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. <laughs> Hope it goes well. Perfect. We're going to take a look around. <laughs> then, I want actually I bored. to my home for a little while. Wow. <sighs> I almost forgot. We haven't even the been Ministry there. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. Okay. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. Deal. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within oh, the time I win. limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. Paimon, you bring it. I've already you bring it up there. more than enough empty film for the event. 
I can see the spectacle already. We'll be there. Got it in the bag. Uh, maybe time to get no. Me, traveler. No. What if we don't win? I'm gonna win, Paimon. It's better to keep a low profile until the competition starts. Then we'll give them a show they never saw coming. I don't care. Oh, that secret prize is ours. The secret this I don't care. You just said it too. The secret prize is ours. They're allowed to know. I'm claiming it. <laughs> then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. <laughs> okay, well thanks. You bet. See you then. See ya. Have fun. Oh, they're leaving, but we were gonna go walk that way, I thought. I love the upside down Wait, umbrellas Kevin? here as well. Right. Uh-huh. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Yeah, they were plotting. They were scheming. I see them. Is it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Uh-huh. Hmm. They seem fishy. There's the fish. I told you it'd come into play at some point. Chising do attract a lot of attention, but I do agree they're a bit sus. Great. So it wasn't just Paimon. I mean, the big pan on their faces helped me. I probably wouldn't have seen them otherwise, because they're pretty far. Do you think? Treasure orders? Nah. They always seem to be stirring up trouble during lantern rides. That's true, but nah. Oh, I'm on sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. Uh -huh. We should strike first, you know. <laughs> what? Before they even begin. Paimon, calm down. What do you want to beat people up today? What's going on? You go right, Paimon will go left. Where? But Paimon. <laughs> She's just gone. The Orioles bask in spring. The heavens present auspices. Beautiful shot of the jade chamber in the background and this thing. For some reason, I can't pronounce Jade Chamber. Paimon is going! Wait. So if I leave... I don't have a Paimon! Oh my god, I actually don't have a Paimon. We're free! Oh my god, I've waited so long for this. Oh, uh, I can't believe we're finally free from Paimon. We're gonna be able to find our brother in no time now. Okay, she's back. <laughs> okay, Paimon gank them. Get him. Yeah, that's right, treasure hoarders. We've got you cornered now. Red-haired boy. It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Oh. Your comportment Wait. suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could Wait. enlighten us as to your intentions. Is this Moon Carver and an other bird? <laughs> Whoa, where did this funny daddy come from? <laughs> funny daddy. You should be the one. Pine be using so many cool terms buddy. lately. Yeah. Oh, there it's them. I, re I realize now with the color schemes. This, this, this the deer, and that's the bird. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. <laughs> everything, starting with your name. <laughs> they don't have human names yet. One bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. <laughs> you stand in the presence yeah, of the yeah, mighty yeah. and illuminated Adeptus. Moon Carver. Hey, Moon Carver, good to For see you. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Ho Jong. What the? F I would have never said that. Ho Jong? I would have butchered that a million times over. You kidding? That deer's got his head stuck so far. <laughs> oh no, Paimon. <laughs> oh no, Paimon, that's over. <clears throat> you may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. <laughs> Just because you know her name. Uh huh. Time on guess. Uh huh. Supposed to be Mountain Shaper, right? <laughs> nice one, Paimita. Indeed, Moon Carver and myself have descended upon G the mortal realm for a visit. I'm not surprised the this two one of either. You may call me Jiahu. Jiahu. That was a bit better. Huh. Looks like you did your research. <laughs> but in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely so it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. Why is she so pissed today? We'll go straight. <laughs> Why am I agreeing? Preposterous. <laughs> Utterly preposterous. If you really are who you claim to be, perhaps you can prove it. Right. Tell us something that only an adeptus would know. Mm -hmm. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. Uh-huh. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> During the Felt. last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and yep. made use of Cloud Retainer's Supreme yep. Cuisine Machine I still have to it. prepare bamboo shoot soup. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have some recollection? I've been keeping that moldy bamboo shoot soup in my inventory. The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. Mm -hmm. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion. True. Providing other recipes to boot. To boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. Wow, okay. Cook? Dabbled? 
upon one's last <laughs> sojourn to your mountain. This proves Did you not them. immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Oh, exposed. Uh, uh. <laughs> Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? Yes. This is how you choose to repay that kindness? Yeah, I'm kind of with the bird, uh, dear. One is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. Uh-huh. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. <laughs> you might think one bears no difference from cloud retaining. Wow. Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. I suppose they really are the adept I. Ah. Uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. Well, these is proof. Like you two are the real deal, and Paimon, sorry for suspecting you. All right. Who are you going to beat up next, then? But... Beings as forgiving as yourself. <laughs> this is just water under the bridge, right? <laughs> Take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. A few people will be able to see through it. No one will. You indeed have an agile mind. Thank you. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. That uh, we're besties. Uh, she's just talking nice. Paimon's still curious about something. It's just. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but. Why did you decide to come to the city, Moon Carver? It's not really your thing, is it? They're they're gonna visit. They're gonna visit their girl. Hmm. Oh, he doesn't want to say it. <sighs> it is but an inevitable eventuality. Um, oh yeah, that's what it Long is. Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainers moved to Liu at Harbor. Wow, shocker. With Lantern right near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. Yeah, it's your task to pay back all the attention she's put into you. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. Mm -hmm. She busy. One she got a little, 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 in the face of little that which demands action. What do you call it? And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, uh -huh. we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid. Mm -hmm. Cloud Retainers, in this case. Huge. But a moment ago. One heard you speak of a <laughs> mechanical kite of sorts. <laughs> mm -hmm. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Right. Now, it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. You're joking. Huh. So, you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? I bet he thinks that she's busy with designing this mechanical kite stuff or something. Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now hey! consumes her. I did say that, so it is what I was thought about earlier. That she's like, I could have made that too. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. Uh huh. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. I know. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. You don't know that. Maybe she's moved on. I'd be hilarious though if she was actually pissed. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. Yep. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. Uh-huh. Well, maybe she needs that. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, all right. do pass along one's regards. Sure. Sure, leave it to us. Whatever. Madison, you better meet up at some point. And happy lantern ride. Happy lantern right, nerds. Thank you for your kind words. Yeah, yeah. We shall now depart. Depart. Do it. I didn't even want you guys to meet up with her anyway. <sighs> we got all worked up for now. We? Time. All that trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along. We, I mean, I did think they were plotting something. But... Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check oh. out the kite stalls. Yes. Paimon wants to see what kinds of kites I want the, can buy please the goldfish. The bigger and prettier the you don't know. Bigger might not be the best. Bigger might not be the best by me, Dad. Uh, just saying. I wonder, do they have any special, any special lines? No, they don't really. I thought Pam was gonna beat up on this girl next because she's like, oh yeah, Yuri's dropping too, and just actually punch everybody. I kind of like this, you know. I love, I love that it changes all the time. Hey, wait, that's a new line. Kites. I've got some treasure I want to sell. What rare objects have you found this time? Let's take a look. Oh no, no. I'm all there foring. I don't want to sell this to her. Hell no. Good news, guys. Alta 4 saved my dragon bone orb. I'm never, never selling it to this lady. Usually when there's a chest, though, they give free stuff. That's why I wanted to <laughs> check it out. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Please say your name. Zhen Zhen Yuan. Zhen, Zhen, Zhen Yuan. Uh, Hello. Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Yes. Would you like me to go over the different designs? Just give me the big goldfish, please. Ooh, as if it counts well. No. No. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one. Uh. 
This J chamber. chamber design yes. is our newest. It's very cool. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. It doesn't surprise me. It's really cool. Does it also have a unique meaning? Yes, it protects. It protects prosperity. Of course, the Jade Chamber oh symbolizes my God, never mind. wealth and abundance. The kite abundance. bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. All right, well, Paimon wants that one. <laughs> oh, <now laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, no surprise. I apologize for the interruption. Hey! Where's in order, Miss Genuine? Genuine, okay. I wasn't that far off, right? Uh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, oh, we can make them. And dyes. All the necessary kite making material. <laughs> I like how she adds that. All the necessary. By the way, it's everything you need. Psst, hey, it's everything you need. And we do workshops. 50,000 Mora, and you can take part in the class. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Wait, is that the new area? Oh. 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 No like way. Paimon would love to go take Wait. a look. Wait, is that the new place? Well, if the two of you are interested yes. in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? What? Well, I thought you were going to say take us, and now you you want me to do your... Oh, fine. Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? He mentioned a guard? <laughs> yes. The oh, I thought he said the guards. Title, shipments and transports around Liyue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He works for the secure transport agency. Ah, the STA classic. Oh, I see. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to of spend time with their families. Of course, fair. So our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease. Okay, recently. just for you, Longjo, I'll do it. If you were willing to help out, then yep. I could get a head start on my next appointment. So, what does that what does that do for me? You do seem really pressed for time. We'll expect to be compensated. Of course, of course. <laughs> Hard work deserves ample rewards. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now at this time of day, <laughs> should be somewhere. I feel embarrassed clicking that. Just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Okay. Be on your right. S sure. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I want to. I'll even give you a discount. What? Why? Thank you. I straight up want one. Anyway, do you know my aunt? Everyone calls her Granny Shan. Is she the lady over there that sells stuff, sells toys and whatever? I've heard her mention Gaming before. Oh. Apparently he's a nice outgoing fellow and all around good guy. <laughs> are you trying to set me up? What is this? <laughs> I just want to buy a kite. What are you telling me about Gaming for? I never knew kites came in so many styles. What do you mean? How? What? You're silly. Why would they not? Oh, I thought kites could only come in one specific style. I'm pissed. Do you say anything? Bye. I want this to open someday too. Okay, well, I can't buy a kite yet. Maybe eventually after the whole story you can. I'll try and come back. Anyway, we should go look for Gaming. And then, I oh, I'm really excited. Maybe he's going to take us to the new wharf place. Wait, I thought we had an agreement. Whoa. Loser buys dim sum tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, what is this? This is so cool. Hey now, don't be upset. You're an all-star. You extend the invitation. And Get the show on. I'll pay. Sorry. He actually, it actually rhymes though with the, okay. Sorry. Shrek. Layers. Uh, no way, Gami. I love Joe his fit. the one picking up the tab. Uh-huh. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just... Didn't expect you to come from behind to win like that. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Uh huh. I feel like he could be good friends with Ito. I want to see him with Ito. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who uh -huh. asked you to deliver some goods to Elon Moore. Uh huh. Oh, it must have been Longjo. You're right. Like I've got work. I gotta go. Bye. Sure. Go do your thing. Uh, he's got a job. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next what time. What did you beat this guy up in? <laughs> the point blank wave. Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. No. Let me take them off your hands. Are you actually going to lift this? It wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Yeah, we came from right around the corner. Kite making materials. I see. I see. Do you see? I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. <laughs> She's like, how do you, what do you know my name? Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. No problem. Wait, maybe Paimon introduced herself. I was just zoned out. <laughs> huh? You know us? <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. Oh. I've heard quite a bit about you two. 
You're quite well known around these parts. No, that was cool. Oh, and please excuse Longjo if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. No, I, 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 don't worry. I hustled him out of some money already. <laughs> I made sure he was going to pay, you know. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately. Yeah. Running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? Sorry, I was, I was pretty hard on him. Uh, no worries. So, you here for Lantern, right? Yep. Yep. It's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elong Wharf and have a look around. Uh-huh. Perfect. We'll go together then. Oh, he's so excited. That's cute. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. <laughs> Trust me. I know my way around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. How about silence, huh? <laughs> How does that sound? This is great. I'm up for jokes. Can I choose? Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. But wait, this is Paimon's favorite grab person. A bite when it's time. Dude. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, <laughs> and the prices... Won't break the bank. <laughs> you can order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Paimon is straight up gonna love this guy. Order anything? <laughs> Paimon seems to be drooling again. Hey, <laughs> the face. I think you could see it. <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends too. Uh huh. It just shows how close you are. Sure. Thanks for turning it so positively. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. No, bring me. Nope. Wow, I don't even get the pick. Uh-huh, that's true. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can yeah. count on me to protect you. Okay. I am a guard, after all. <laughs> okay. Humble brag. Let's get going, then. Oh. Oh. This is pretty. I, we love these interfaces, man. I love this. It's so cool. It's always so different. The art style is completely different, too. And it's always lovely. Paper shadows of foraging. I love how they make these. What is this? Hey, the Burgeon Buddies! I told you, I told you guys the Burgeon Buddies. These are all the different mini games, I assume. Not yet unlocked. I'm on it, Cloud Retainer. Yes! I'm oh please tell me we Yeah yeah, it is the wharf over there. Please tell me we don't go through the village because I have a world quest oh, waiting for me why there. Must the listener grow weary? Because you talk a lot. <laughs> I like this thing though, it's very funny. Anyway, three kilometers up. Oh, Better bird. Just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. The docks are way further. What you on about? It's like still 17 million kilometers. Oh my god. Really? Another Wait, and get behind me. I'll handle this. Watch this vaporize. Boom. Okay, he's really bad. I actually have a built one. Dude, this weapon, I used to run this all the time on D-Luke back in the day. Back in my day. Back in my day when Yao Yao wasn't even a character. Don't worry about it, guys. Queen Ning's got our back. Oh, no. <laughs> I ruined the cutscene like I used to. <laughs> they haven't fixed that ever, huh? You're right. Yeah. It's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. Mm -hmm. That's why this job needs guards like us. Fair enough. I was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Yeah, you can do flips and all that. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Oh, well, you're good at it. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? Yep, I've heard about it. Really? Yep. Wushou dancing is famous <laughs> in Chunyu Vale. Uh-huh. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or mm -hmm. to spread good fortune during a holiday season. And that's why you're doing the final part of this lantern ride. Cool. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. Yet. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wushou dancing. Fair. So it's not something I do full time. I getcha. Huh? You have two jobs? One's passion, the other one's because you need to survive. <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Yep. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot. Nope. <laughs> not really. <laughs> just yesterday, I stayed up all night playing cards. Yep. Ah, oh, guys, he's being so relatable again. Look at us. We all have sleep schedules. Woo. Oh. Uh. Yep. Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. Yep. Let's move. Are we going to fight more things, you think? No way, right? We're just gonna walk and it'll be nice and peaceful, right? Oh, these dogs. Oh, this is great. This is great. I've come here before. Gumming walks forward and exchanges a few words with the boatman near the docks. The next thing you know, he's called for everyone to board a bamboo raft. Pretty shot. Very nice. Finally, we can rest. Yep. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. Bruh. And her stomach's so empty. What are your, what are your shoulders getting stiff from? Sorry, sorry. 
Did I push the pace a bit too much? No. I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Paimon always brag and then Ooh, complain. It's just too hilly. Flying <laughs> up and down so much. Where's Paimon now? Poor little Paimon. Paimon was finally satisfied and now her poor stomach's empty again. Ah, oh, you're exhausting. Aw. Would you like some winter oh, melon cake? I would. I have some on me that I bought from a store. A store? Yes, Paimon will take all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you might want to pace yourself there, or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Nah, her stomach is the abyss, actually. There's a whole world in there. Paima never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you, apparently, <laughs> never get tired. See the challenge. how far you walk, or how many jobs you work. Uh-huh. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, traveler. Enjoy. Thanks, coming. And here's some for you, too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think Dude. about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. Uncle Bosu. Here you go. Kami seems like a real people person. He can get along with anyone, and he treats every person he meets like a close friend. <sighs> that hit the spot. <laughs> Lay down. She was going to starve to death for a minute there. How is Paimon keeping up, by the way? Because she has to float <laughs> along, right? That close of a call, huh? Yes. <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side see of the road it. or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. Who would have thought? If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. Deal. I'll just have to check when we get back. Deal. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Uh-huh. Really, I won't be offended. You are jabbering a lot, but I, I don't mind it. It's okay. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chat. <laughs> Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> She's being talked to like a pet. Hey! That's not true at all. That's the biggest lie. You slowly lose yourself in the beauty of the surrounding scenery. Before you know it, you are greeted by the sight of Yilong Wharf. Hello! I love this area. It's very, very pretty. Woohoo! We're here! Yep. Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I've, I've learned to swim well anyway in Fulton. Eh, it doesn't seem that festive here. Thanks for the here. ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of what? yourself now. Oh, he, I'll see was... you some other time. Sure. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Deal. I love the music. It's very nice. Um, I... Not very festive yet, but maybe it's because it's not nighttime or something? Or maybe they just don't celebrate as much here. Deputy. <laughs> Always a deputy. <laughs> I wonder if it's the only place you can get it. Chan Bat Chan. Sup Chan Bat Chan. Oh my, such perfect timing. My walking around looking for tea has made it so that the elevator was here exactly for our moment. I like this. It's a little scenic, little scenic elevator moment. We could have just teleported up, I'm sure, but what's the fun in that? I'm so immersed now. Oh, I was going to get off. That was not right. Hey, Sai. Oh, Adepti. I'm addicted to farming Adepti. Ning runs so fast, by the way. Look at this. Plus coming passive. Slow down. Oh, sorry. I was very fast. What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? I hope not. Oh, look at her fit. It's so pretty. I actually love this little open, open air tea house. Cabbage. Leave lantern right festival. Let lantern the lantern right. Oh well. Uh, how should I put it? Tell me. Come on, spit it out. Spit it out, dude. Do you see that group of people over there? Uh, I see lots of groups of peoples. <laughs> Those are my relatives. Ew, relatives, ew. Wow, you sure have a big family. Uh-huh. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Okay. Oh, this is bad. What, can you not fund their buying addiction? They're your family, not your arch enemies. Mm -hmm. What's there to be afraid of? Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible today? <laughs> Paimon, what's with the dark side today? No, it's not that. What is it? I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. What? But you're such a people's person. You can deal with everybody. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. Okay. Stealth mission. Avoid the family. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but right now, we've got a job to do. Then we'll just have to sneak past them. Actually stealth around the fam? The left side looks pretty packed. You're joking. I was memeing. Careful! It's Gaming's Gramps and Gaming's Granny! Ain't no way they're not recognizing your ass. 
I'm leaving. I love the aesthetic of this place, everything about it. Also, if they're not taking this, I'm buying it. Give me that. I kind of want to see what they're... Stick close, traveler. No! I want to see what the names of the- No! No! <laughs> Fine. Not suspicious at all. Just- just an outworlder. Your aunt? What are you doing? Your Let's aunt's right there. Here for a second. Maybe my aunt will leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blending in with the crowd. I've learned this in Assassin's Creed. Come on, Gaming. She's leaving. Come on. Chop chop. Stick close, traveler. You stick close. Come on. She moved. We're wasting precious time in this epic stealth mission. It's okay. Turn oh. left. Run. Oh, Shab, sorry. Sound on our lantern right promotion. Only the best tea sourced directly from Chaoyang Village. I was trying to steal your tea, good sir. Yeah. Buy three boxes, get ten percent off. Uh huh. Buy four, get twenty percent off. What? Buy ten, and you get half off. I'll take ten. Stick close, traveler. I'm coming. Oh my God, careful. To the right and. Got caught. It's over. Wow, you guys are good. I'm impressed. What do you mean, dude? They just it made it easy. Nothing. It was a piece of cake. Oh, winter melon cake to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, flying lavender melon. Ha! <laughs> Got him. You really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? I'll buy you a whole bunch and pile them so high you can swim in them. What? As long as you don't wind up drowning, Paimon. <laughs> yeah, she can't really swim. Hey, ah, go me. my friends, the traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. This is the one guy he knows how to talk to. Or is it not his actual uncle? Is it just like the polite form? So I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Mm hmm. Yes. Thanks for your hard work. No problem. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. I'm not sure Gaming wants to because he can't talk to his family and we're trying to escape them. No need. We'll be off soon. <laughs> hey, we're already here, aren't we? Oh. No harm in taking a load off. And of nice for it. Oh, Gaming. I know the secure I see your agency has some great Songwa tea stuff oh, around here somewhere. Oh, dude, I love that. I promise you. One sip and you'll be hooked. Deal. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgway. Who would I be if I just sat Jirgway. here and let you go through all this trouble? Uh. Leave this to me. So many names, I'm gonna forget all the pronunciations, I'm sorry. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? So true. Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Oh my god, pastries as well. You want me to get fat, this is over. Aww. you noticed what Paimon left? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and he's gone. How long have you two known Gami? About 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yuang Wharf. Uh-huh. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, just like that. Ah, uh, classic coming. <laughs> no. That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. Mm -hmm. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. Said his joints were hurting due to the rain. The cold. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, mm -hmm. then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. Right. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. <laughs> How can anyone not love him? So true, and here comes his dark story. I mean, there is his dad, but well, ask anyone else. And... Well, what is dad good? What's what's going on? Come on, tell us. Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Yes, my son. <sighs> it feels like we've troubled you enough already. But uncle, you know I love delivering. It's kite-making materials, though. It could be for a kid. <laughs> I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Yes. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. Thanks. The refreshing aroma and lingering aftertaste of Sunglo tea. Oh, I can right see then. it. Because I forgot to pronounce it. Sunglo. Alright. Ooh, are you free in two days? Two How days? Grab some dim sum from Shinya kiosk. My Stop. tree and don't even think about trying to pay. I'll pay. Whoa, that's way too generous of you. I'll pay half. Uh, don't mention it. Let's split. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. I didn't do anything. Besides, the thing between me and my family. Uh-huh. It's a long story. Oh, that's what we need two days. It might take some time to talk. Oh, yeah, I have two days then. Sounds good. Paima never says no to free food. All right, see you at Shinya Kiosk then. Definitely how you pronounce it. All right, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I've said it before. 
I'm pretty sure inside Paimon's stomach is the abyss. Yes. She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. By Mita, I don't have the mora for this. Anyway, is Gamin's family situation really that complicated? Please tell us about the father. He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. Mm -hmm. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Uh-huh. <sighs> How should I put it? Put it anyway, I can listen. Since he already plans to tell you himself, oh. you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. Sure. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Well, I don't have parents or siblings. <laughs> so, that's already an L. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. I'll try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. <laughs> it's okay. We provide aid. <laughs> no. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? No, because it sounds like we wouldn't do it for anything in return. And the first thing you always ask when we do something is, do we get something for it? Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Have a great day, smile. Wait, seriously? <laughs> I'm almost just joking. <laughs> but if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather no. have Mr. Bell and Cake instead. No, the flag's cute. <laughs> Uh, seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. What, just because of cake? Would you like some more tea? Yeah, sure. I think there's some left. Deal. No thanks. Oh my we god. Came all this way and still haven't Pun. gotten a chance to look around the wharf. <laughs> She's still going. Hadn't still got a chance to look around the wharf, but I'm gonna keep moving as if I was saying something, but I kind of forgot mid sentence, so. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. That's not a bad idea, Paimita. All right then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. I want more You're tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Thanks, Chief. Thanks, Chief. I appreciate that. Gaming is a good kid. I, I know. just wish he could reconcile with his family. All right. You're around the same age, so he might listen to you. If you say Please so. Please talk things through with him. I'm not going to convince a guy I just met to reconcile. I'll listen to his story, though. Dip. Dip. Yoke. Dip. Yoke. <laughs> Yo, yoke, dip yo, how? Oh, horse stance is pure pain to maintain. Come on, legs. How do you pronounce your name? You're right. How exhausting. Dip yoke, dip yoke. In Dutch, you pronounce it yoke, but that's definitely not. Kwang the third. People call him the cloud piercing arrow. You'll teach me archery at some point, I'm sure. Lil Kwang, what's up, Lil Kwang? I need to relearn how to pronounce stuff here. All the time. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names. Nighttime's about to fall, and I hope we get to see some lanterns at least. That'd be nice. Beep, boop, beep, and booty, beep, beep. What are oh. you doing here? Hello. <laughs> yeah. The way you speak, one might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Absolutely not. Hey, Shenyan. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect <laughs> your elders. Yeah. <laughs> You don't know that. Maybe Paimita's older than you. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? <laughs> Wait, we have a family situation right here. Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite-related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? Uh-huh. I want to that huge box next oh? to you. Ah, Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? That's cool. Box? Uh, yeah, sure. And what of it? <laughs> The Chishing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Good. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment? Yes. Or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? No, not that. Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. Oh, God. That's just what <laughs> Paper and Mooncarver told us, or. Throw them under the bus. Something and ho. And ho. Can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. Wow, <laughs> why are you so mean? What? Anyway, they went to Leeway Harbor to look for you. Uh huh. They even asked us to pass along the regards if we ran into you. It's true. Uh huh. Yeah, they they but they don't really care that much. Tianyun? She's kind of touched by it. Huh. Did she forget about them? Here's time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. <laughs> well, she did forget about them. One have forgotten about those two old fossils. I don't know. <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. <laughs> Nay, <laughs> that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf. 
tea would be more advisable. I'm in your head, Cloud Retainer. I feel kind of... Uh, maybe I'm overstepping. But I can hear everything you're thinking. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. Yeah. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Okay. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. Sure. It'll be but a moment. Of course. Where's your little disciple? Huh? Wait, here? You're <laughs> just gonna ditch us here to watch your <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let me go see what she's up to. I'll leave the stuff washing to you. Hey, you too, Bye. Oh, all this time on ditching is super not appreciated. Uh, unlucky. Uh, just come back soon, okay? I don't know. Hey, uh huh. But you can you can protect Welcome. it. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality. I want to go there. Directly from Chaoying Village. Yeah. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Oh my God, Cloud Retainer! Buy buy ten, you get half off. Now that sounds promising. <laughs> I'm eavesdropping. For those old fossils, and all will be well. Yes. Two boxes will do. No, get ten, you get fifty percent off. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern light promotion. <laughs> My three boxes get 10% <laughs> off, four again. boxes will net you 20% off. Yeah, and 10 boxes. Hmm, 20% off four <laughs> boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. Yes. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping too. Get the 10. Then four shall suffice. Wow. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? <laughs> if so, I can interest you in these exquisite <laughs> gift sets. Buy 10, get half off. Whoa. Look at the magnificent design. You're being hustled. The Wait, don't buy 10. I changed my mind. Flair, don't you think? <laughs> Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Uh-huh. Hmm. 10 boxes. <laughs> Seems rather excessive. Uh-huh. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons yeah. and one's disciples... That's another four right there. Hmm. Give me ten. Ten. A nice round number, don't you think? <laughs> of course you do. This I'll even dude. save a little extra off the price for you. Oh, wow. Wonderful. That is agreeable. One will... Um, I will have this <laughs> boxed up then. She's trying. I love it. Of course, of course. Right away. Oh, you're, you're going to be marketed by this ponytail dude next. I see you have quite the eye for fire, <laughs> mademoiselle. No. Perhaps some of my wares might no. also be of interest to you. Run! Oh no, run! Don't buy a typewriter. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. I You'll could tell by his fit. I was going to say earlier. And most intricate clockwork toys, Mora can buy here. Uh, uh. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. Endless. You see these jars? Don't know what the toy is with them, but you can jump in them. You can hide in them. Uh, you can tap on them, it'll make sounds. Good toys. What are those? Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? <laughs> well, uh, that is, of course, best understood it's by a typewriter. yourself. That's not if a you toy. Could just a moment, I, I guess it is. Out and give I you guess a demonstration. You can. Sure. I guess here, this is the thing about. Kaching not seeing kites as toys. I don't see a typewriter as a toy. It can be one. <laughs> Wah. Oh. That's a thief. That's also a thief. It, there is no need for that. She saw me. <laughs> she caught me. Uh, mademoiselle. Yeah. Give me your newest and finest model. What? And be sure to package it securely. What? Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. What what is what does she want a typewriter for? The instruction manual is... Bye. <laughs> I can do without. Thank you. <laughs> oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. Yeah. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, <laughs> a child's plaything no less, it would only invite scandal. Sure. But there is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. Oh my god. You are no longer the goat? Of mechanical... things? I understand the head scratching. I should head back before she notices. Parkour! <laughs> I'll be out of breath. She's like, why are you out of breath? Oh, Xian Yan. Did your shopping go smoothly? Not really. <sighs> Naturally. One may not delight in social interactions. Same. But that does not mean one lacks said faculties. Same. Seems like Shen is easily swayed into buying anything. That box looks fit to burst already. And you too? 
Are you not here to purchase things? No, we were here to deliver things, actually. The opposite. <clears throat> I just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf. But it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. <laughs> you are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition, uh, then? Also? <clears throat> One means to say, you along with all the others. No, 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 you're playing along, I see you. One has been entreated to share one's kite-making expertise. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. Uh -huh. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. Right. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. Wow. And thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop. There it is, the workshop. personal instruction in this art form. I told you, 50k more. Oh, who will be participating then? Gaming, Shenha, Ganyu, me. Shuyu, Shenha, Ganyu, and oh. Yao Hey, I wasn't that far off. I forgot about Shuyu. I'm such a silly goose. And Yao Yao. Wow, Cute. That's quite a few people. Yao Yao. Also, this is all pretty well. I love Yao Yao. But it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. Uh -huh. You can't just buy one ready made and call it a day. Yeah, but it won't be as good. Huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, yeah. do you not? Yeah. <sighs> it is nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. Yeah, nasty mortals, am I right? <laughs> the mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Mm -hmm. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. The thing you bought, that typewriter. You're going to use that mechanism to make a better kite, aren't you? It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. Whoa. This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky mm -hmm. and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. Nice. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... And pile my interrupts. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. What? It is unlikely the two of you will understand. Hello? Should one expend the effort to explain. Why are you being so mean too? off saving one's breath. You're mean. It I was listening. Like you want to talk about it, though. Whatever, I'm over it. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Well, I wanted to until you said that I'd be a bad student. Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? I want to go. All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. You're a queen, thanks. Arrive at Mount Altsong in two days. Two days as I well. I be expecting you around midday. But in two days I'm busy. Why is everyone two days? Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? Hey, she's an adept. She'll be fine. <laughs> Surely you jest. Yeah. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? Love it. Love it. Strong queen. <laughs> Yep. Uh, totally normal. <laughs> what kind of invention is that? It's like Cover's box. One calls it the floating toting device. Floating toting. <laughs> I love her. She seems pretty proud of that one. Yeah, deserved. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident, but everyone around her is looking at her all funny. <laughs> Paimon wonders. Uh, never mind. I love that she doesn't care. But of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. I know, she bought them. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She I just, was peeking too. Uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. Mmm, you're bad. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. <laughs> Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Ah, <sighs> Paimon, what will I do about you? Try hard to save face. I know, she thinks it's necessary with us, but it's not. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? Uh-huh. I am bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. That does sound like something she'd do. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. I know. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. Of course. After all, that is the propriety with which one <laughs> should comport oneself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When it comes to an elder, right? Yes. Ah, pretty shot. Quest 1, complete the Orioles' bask in spring. End. 
we move on to day two. That was cute. That was nice. That was a nice little first part. And it gives me the right amount of time to go get myself, what was it? Watermelon cake or whatever it was. I need some of that too. And I need to wait two days anyway. So, uh, see you in two days. This kid has been jumping energetically for two days. Let's see if he'll still be there after two days. Oh, the mist is rising. I can't tell. It is a little bit misty. You guys remember Misty from Pokemon? Hello. It's still not two days later. Do you speak? Oh, oh, what have I done? <laughs> guys, I accidentally opened the speedrun record or something. I don't know. Ah, Paimon. We've never been there before. Sure. Yup. Let's, Let's go. It's only 3.6 kilometers. Okay, I lied. We have had dinner here. This is where all the Archons met during last night, and right? It felt so much so implicated. I wonder if we're gonna see something like that again. Hey, Yushu. Hello. Oh, you're here early. Am I? I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down. One sit down. second? You just ordered. It's gonna take like half an hour. This restaurant experience. Let's all take a seat. <laughs> you take a seat first. Okay, go ahead. Sit down. Here, hand me your cups. Okay. Oh, legendary oh, tea. Sweet for Paimon. <laughs> it's Wait, uh, uh, you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. <laughs> what did she drink? Just warm water? That was for you to rinse your utensils. <laughs> Ew, that's a Shrek reference too. You guys remember when he does that in Shrek? Um, Shrek. Oh! Yes. Paimon drinks lemon water. As you talk, piping hot dim sun dishes arrive at the table one after another. And just when you think that all the dishes have been delivered, the hostess brings over a generous bowl of seafood congee. Congee? Wow, cute, cute so art. Much delicious food. Yep. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? Nah. <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Nah. Dude, my breakfast is just slice up bread. Slice up bread with lame topping. That's every morning. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Yeah, fair enough. It's like brunch. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. <laughs> eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and wow. there's tong soy coming as well. Tong soy. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. Oh, cute. What about you, traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh -huh. uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. <laughs> That'd be great, thanks. Paimon's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks. <laughs> this is super wholesome. This is just nice. It's so, I don't know. It, like, there nothing's really happening, but it's just sweet. Everyone picks up their chopsticks and begins to dig in. Each dish tastes extremely exquisite. I just add extremely for flavor. And it's uniquely flavorful, that's what I'm saying. You slowly start to relax as you enjoy pleasant conversation over a satisfying meal. This goes on until even Paimon can't eat another bite. Impossible. <sighs> oh, so, so thick cool. tummy. That meal was so satisfying, it uh -huh. even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Really now? You, dude, you've eaten so much, you're blushing. Oh, listen, listen. Oh. Paimon's figured it out. Figured what out? Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. Uh -huh. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. <laughs> he works two jobs, no way. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. Oh my god, she's found it out. <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? No. You sure know a lot of people. They're all from here, Paimita. Of course they know each other. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Okay. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. That's what a what rumor is. What it comes is. down to is being able to tell the difference. Sure. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but... You're wrong about my family situation. Let's hear it. I'm all ready. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. Nope. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Mm-hmm. Small scale stuff, you know? Yep. It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Okay. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. This is the story every time. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Damn. 
It's deep. I don't want to sell tea either. Except if you mean gossip, I'll be a gossip star, sure. Deal. Where do I sign? Gaming always seems so happy and carefree. This is the most serious I've ever seen him in the two days I've known him. This topic must be very important to him. Have you ever talked to him about it? No. You know, about your interests and aspirations and stuff. I wouldn't dare. Of course I have. I, oh. I told him I wanted to be a wusho dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. Uh-huh. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Hey. Just a child's pipe dream. I've heard that before. Look at me now. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Yep. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wusho dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. Right. One day, I feel that. he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. <laughs> Bro. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. So that's why Paimon was in this punching mood the entire time. Throwing hands is just the theme. In the end, I was so angry that I I ran away from home. Wow. I haven't been back since. When was this? Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. Okay. No. I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. Sometimes it's difficult to put it into words. I get it. But my dad's stubborn. Same. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, <laughs> it just went in one ear and out the other. Yep. There was no changing his mind. I had to prove by doing. And it worked. I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big and leave you a harbor, the results could yep. speak for themselves. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah. Yep. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. Let me set you up, man. You'll do the final act. Come on. In the past, Bring it I'd in. go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Uh huh. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. <laughs> humble pie kind of nice, though. And you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? So. Yep. I found a job as a guard. To That's make the money. dad's mindset, always. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Yep. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Is this the theme every Lantern Rite? I feel like I've already told the story about this happening to me. Paimon understands. Mm-hmm. Okay. Paimon's well, mom was also like this. Talk. Her tea's getting cold. I know. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Deal. Deal. I want to hear more Paimon parent lore now. Actually, that I just made up. Kinda already have oh, yeah, right. Afternoon. Sorry, we're making kites. You want to come? We would go to her kite making workshop. Yeah, come along. Oh? <laughs> oh no. Are you interested in kite making, Gami? Yeah, come with us. Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Shenyun. Oh, Auntie Shenyun? What? What do you mean? Auntie's. Wait, but. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe he doesn't know it's an Adeptus. That title certainly humanizes her a bit. Yeah, that's weird. How. So quick. She's only been living here for a week. Oh, I know that she's an Adeptus. Uh, I met her during a delivery once. No. But hasn't she been in the city lately? Yeah. She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She definitely tried to say I sometimes. She came to see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Uh-huh. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Yes, she does. Is that not something you can do? Watch, it's like airtight, or it's not airtight, or it is, and then the kite just crashes to the floor. It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Because she needs to prove to the world that she can make it better than Fultanians can. Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. I think it's a, it's, I think it makes sense. You gotta try first yourself. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. <laughs> okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xianyun wants to use those dice in a kite, Auntie's so weird. I don't like, I don't like Auntie. I don't like that. Great, the more the merrier. Yeah, that's true though. A cloud sea appeal, a brilliance revealed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mount Outsung. Healy, what's up? And you hear me, he goes, <laughs> get it, because it's a helicopter, hilarious. Thanks to that top tier joke, he brought us on his heli all the way here. Oh no, I wanted that flower. Besties, besties making the cool kites. What's up, besties? Hey, wake up. <laughs> Come on, wake up! Some friends have arrived! Hello! Dude, I actually love Yao Yao. Hello, friends. 
Hello. I saw the frog. Do you see it too? I need to sneeze. It's the hay fever. <laughs> oh my god. It was so close. And I, I, it, my sneeze got cancelled. This is the worst. Okay, uh, hi. Uh, gone you. Gone you. Uh, it's me. Wake up. Oh, I have some mint oil. Yes. Perhaps we should try that. Yeah, do it. A guest at Wanmin restaurant recommended it to me. Uh-huh. I've tried it. Yeah. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. Okay. <laughs> Wake up! Hmm. Apologies in advance. Oh, it's gonna be rough. You're gonna smell, you're gonna bounce up to Celestia and back. <laughs> Wait! Shen -ha? Not there! <laughs> You see Shanna take out a small green bottle, extract some minty smelling liquid, and apply it to Ganyu's horns. Uh oh, not the horns. Yao and Paimon look on in shock, mouths agape, but cannot stop her in time. <laughs> Good morning. See, it worked. She's awake. Great job, Shanna. Proud of you. Uh, are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? <laughs> or maybe something to eat? Maybe a little radish? I I'm fine. Uh oh. I just feel chilly all over. Oh, I got shivers too. <laughs> huh. Was it that effective? Apparently. Chilly, huh? Mm, master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. Mm -hmm. So does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Yeah, rub some chili on her horns now. Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. Hey, why are you being smart? <sighs> I... I feel a bit better now. Nice. Was I asleep? Yes. Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. <laughs> Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. She's so silly. Every time she works during the night and then sleeps during the day. What instead she could just get normal sleep during the night and work during the day. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin restaurant with me. Yes. We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. Let's go. I... I could never. What do you mean? I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. But you are. Oh, I thought she was saying that to Shenna. I was like, what are you on about? <laughs> Me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Yep. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Well, considering he's a guard, that would make sense. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. And I've been told you were really good at wushu dancing, actually. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> nice. My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. <laughs> I love them. It's an honor to finally meet you all. I love them. Oh, you must be here for Auntie Shen Yun's kite-making workshop, right? Auntie? Yes. Oh, they're not even surprised about it. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. I love that. Me too. I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend. Well, your best friend. Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? I agree. Your best friend didn't come with you? Well. Well, Chi Chi's been super busy helping Cheech. Dr. Baiju lately. Aw. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. Aw, no way. They're besties. Oh. I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. Uh huh. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo. Dude, I so know. I thought I should come prepared. When I was a little baby, I had this bamboo book. Don't ask me why or how. And like when I turned the pages, I cut my hands on it so much. It. I still have this memory from it. She's right. Wow, you're really thoughtful. She is. As for myself. I'm afraid I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. That's okay, Ganyu. Maybe you'll have a good time anyway. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. <laughs> You're making it sound so sad now. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. Mm -hmm. She always puts us before herself. Right. <sighs> no. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop. So I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. It's true. My motivation for being it's not actually be true. a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Okay. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Watch your language. Watch your language, Paimita. Who is it that speaks of oneself oh, in such an ill-tempered yes. tone? 
Sure you. Oh, come on. You clearly heard Paimon. <laughs> You're mean. Give me a minute. Sorry. That's what you get when you can't sneeze. Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Oh, huge. Uh oh, Paimon. Sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. <laughs> She's mad. <laughs> oh, I love that. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? Say no. <laughs> 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 the best dynamic in the game. Cloud Retainer sets down her bags while Shuyu hands out the grilled fish. As everyone begins to talk, lively conversation fills the usually tranquil environment of Mount Outsung. <sighs> so delicious. Paimon's life is complete! That was her last goal, just chicken drumsticks. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Yep. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. I will, okay, I won't be, I will not be with Paimon. I'll be with Yao Yao, Shuyu, and Shenha, please. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. Oh yeah. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions uh, one provided while we were eating. Yes? No. Are there any questions? Can you repeat everything, please? I'll be the one making it anyway. You could just help out. Paimon knew she could count on you, traveler. I lost my voice. Yeah, yeah, of course. One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Uh huh. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. I want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. I want to chat. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? I'll go chat. We're not in a hurry. Where is she? Here she is. Oh, I don't know, I want to save that for last. I love them. This is so cute. What's up, Shuyu? It's good to see you in this hey, little fit. What's the team up? Team up, besties. Huh? I have to participate? Yeah. I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the die formula. Hey, you're here to have fun too. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. True. No, it's not that. It's just... It's just I'm thinking of my dad's tea business. <sighs> It would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Because we used to fly kites together before he got mad at me because I didn't want to sell tea. Hmm. What shape should we go with? Yep. Iconic butterfly How freedom. About a butterfly. Yep. Butterfly symbolizes desire for freedom. Perhaps that's also what Gaming's searching for. Wow. That's a crazy link that I didn't have yet. What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? Oh, let's hear it. She wants a big crane. <laughs> Suani, that's a crane. Uh, oh, that's a big that lion, isn't it? a little it? hard to pull off. <laughs> True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. I like it. A challenge. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. Good stuff, Shuyu. Shuyu never backs down. Gaming, can I do the coloring? Yes. <laughs> sure. I'll go ahead and make the frame for you. Yay. That's what I'd say. Yeah, oh. Um, what? Shenha. It would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. Uh-huh. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. <laughs> Thank you. No harm done. Just a little bit. Good. <laughs> could I touch them just once more, though? No oil or anything <laughs> this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Uh-huh. Huh? Please, I told you. Just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Wow, she trusts you so much. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. <laughs> oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. <laughs> Don't eat it. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. <laughs> I should stop. That's a lot of knowledge. She's been learning. Uh... <laughs> I see. <laughs> then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Great. Oh, no need. I'll just refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. As if you can do that. You can't decide that gun. You fall asleep all the time. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Uh-oh. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. She would like that, but Shenha wants it differently. She wants a jade chamber. Okay. Oh, damn it. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. What's not 
disturb them. I'm going to walk up still, I'm sorry. I want my extra crumbs. Hey besties. Scissor tailed swallow sure takes a lot of curved bamboo rods to build. Yep. Ah. It broke. <laughs> the joys of crafting. <laughs> it's so true as well. Anything else? No. Hello. Archie <laughs> Cloud Retainer, look! <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> I love yo-yo. Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. Mm -hmm. This design, is it a finch? No, it's a little bunny. <laughs> yep. Wow, okay. <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. Aww. What color are you going to make it, yo-yo? Mmm, white and blue. Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. Uh-huh. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. Cute. Make it a little bit of both. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. <laughs> She's gonna go against it. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it yeah, not? Yeah, true. One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. True. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? Well, you did, you did kind of say it earlier. <laughs> age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. <laughs> Cloud this is okay. I've chosen this is my favorite dynamic in the game ever. I'm gonna start painting it gold right now. Nice, good one will watch. <laughs> you two seem strangely unoccupied. Sorry, I was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? <laughs> we went god red handed. Oh, we actually have run started yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> I like that. Wait, go. wait, wait, wait. I want to hear the rest of this. Once I get better at making kites, I'm going to make one That's what I like thought. Uruguay. See, I thought that's what she was going to say. You gave him to me, and he's just the best. <laughs> <laughs> one is pleased that you like the gift. You know, you didn't follow your own advice, though, because you didn't make it blue. You made it gold, which matches her, not you. And it doesn't rem oh, I guess it still reminds her of you. Whatever, I still have a lot to learn. Frog! Frog, 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 frog. This is why this place is great. This is why I know this place is for us. First, we have to decide on the shape. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing I'm at? I'm thinking about making it Paimon shaped, I bet. Yup. <laughs> I knew it. Obviously, I have to make a Paimon shaped kite. Oh, that's not she likes a it. crazy idea. She likes it as well. If nothing else, a Paimon shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels mm -hmm. and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. All right. You know what? That sounds like good wishes. Maybe it's going to be a popular one. Artistic license. What? Ooh, we should exaggerate this a bit. Okay. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. I can't with all the foreshadow. I can't wait. I really want to know the end game, Paimon. I will need to know. Looking back at all this... You build the kite's frame accordingly to Cloud Retainer's instructions. <laughs> You're so big. Paimon. Now, what expression should we give her? Paimon. So the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. You have such a big head and, sm and the tummy should be way bigger. She should look pleased with herself. Look afraid. She should look guilty about something. <laughs> I kind of like number one too though. Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Yeah, great idea. Okay, I want to see what else she says. Since the kite is going to be yeah, how about afraid? Wait, that sounds that sounds funnier now, actually. Since the kite how about pleased? Ooh, like this? <laughs> no, no. The title of champion no. Is mine. No, I like option two now. I've, I've it's good that we listen to all of them. Option number two. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Deal. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. I'm on my way. I'm crafting, crafting. I'm done. That was me. I did that. Oh, I did that work. It's done! <laughs> Paimon has to say, Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. 
No way. Show. Now we just have to attach the string, right? Show. Wait, what's Cloud Retainer doing? Uh, okay, it's All fine. right. Oh. Gather around everyone. I didn't even get to see our kite yet. Auntie. Oh, Shinyan's calling us. Auntie, I'm not done yet. Whatever. Fine. More sign on belly have an ass Paimon. Hmm. Let one take a look. Deal. You do that. Oh, we're winning. We're winning. She had the most smile when she was looking at ours. No, wow. oh, I love these. The finch is beautiful, actually. It's so pretty. Look at all of this. They're actually all really cool. Yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. You knew that was the theme. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. <laughs> oh, if you look Oh, wow. <laughs> Flaming. Off while painting it, you? When I was younger, I got flamed so much for my poor coloring. I just didn't care. I think I just found it boring, maybe. I could not do it within the lines, though. Always got shit talked. I did the painting. <laughs> I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. Uh huh. Except Master. Nice. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Perhaps. Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, well now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too! What do you mean? Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. That's impressive then. No way. You, you can paint with your eyes closed? <laughs> wow, the disciples of Adepti really are something. You know what, I, I think I've said this before as well during Last Lantern, right? If I had to pick a faction or like a group of people to be it'd be I think it'd be the Adepti. I think they're the coolest, honestly. You are most filial, Shen He. One is flattered by the likeness. <laughs> the swanee that Gaoming and Shu Yu made looks very majestic. It's very cool. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. You know this one's gonna light up. The eyes and ears glow in the dark. Yep, so you there you sure go. see it at night. Mm-hmm. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. It's actually so cute. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. <laughs> She's so proud. She's so proud. What about your kite, Traveler? It's the Paimita 4000. The guide that has led me through these three years of Genshin Impact. And hopefully many more. <laughs> oh, I love it. Wait, the scared one is so good. That's hilarious. Hey, respect my art. Hmm. Why does Paimon feel like you're laughing at her and not with her? I know. I feel the same. <laughs> uh, I'm just admiring the expression you chose. Uh huh. Whether the kite soars high in the air or comes crashing straight to the ground, it's still fitting. Exactly. That's quite the impressive feat, actually. Thanks. Is that the Jade Chamber? Oh no, it's crashing down. Oh, it's symbolic. Oh. Catch it. Someone, quick. Imagine getting a glider, that'd be so cool. No! Bong! Uh, who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety <laughs> by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? Ning. 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 I hope Ning. There's no way. Oh, and to do so by making use of this rude piece of mortal machinery. Inspect it. Dismantle it. <laughs> Oh, one simply must know who it is oh. that possesses such impertinence. Oh, she pissed. Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Wow. Cloud Retainer. Oh, it's over. Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? Of course, I'm on it. Master's going to be okay, right? Y yeah. I'm more worried about the person yeah, that's who what I'm saying. Kite. Yep. Quick. There's wind up ahead. Looks like we can fly oh. over. Help! <laughs> Where's my help kite? <laughs> oh, here it is! Help! <laughs> a kite the traveler made under the guns of Cloud Retainer. It captures Paimon's expression of abject terror. As though she were shouting for help at the top of her little lungs. It's too high! Someone save Paimon! She's about to faint! The only question is, why would one such as Paimon, who can fly, have a fear of heights? <laughs> I'm going! Oh, this reminds me of our very first video ever. The meme series? I had a whole bit through these. I thought it was so cool. Dude, this is actually so good. I am I am an Adepti lover. This is true. Maybe I will be an Adeptus one day. No! 
I'm here. Ooh, nice roll. <laughs> spontaneous device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. <laughs> of course, the YouTube goofs. Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, <laughs> and now the kite has vanished. <laughs> I love how he speaks. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? In the sky. One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Yeah, you're about to find out. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. Mm, I wonder why. Your concern is misplaced, surely. Not your silly big frog in the front. Cloud Retainer is either in the city looking after her disciples, or secluded in her abode attending Boom. to her Boom! Dive research. on him. She will not notice that kite. Dive bomb them. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark <laughs> on the genius of its windless. <laughs> oh, you're technology. pissing her off more. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals <gasps> that of Cloud Retainer's. Creations. You did not. You did not. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, I know. We can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. <laughs> I know, and who would want that? One presumes <laughs> that this kite belongs to you. <laughs> give me a give me a scared reaction. Huh? <laughs> no. Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. <laughs> One's fault. One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. And why the Jade Chamber? That's even more insulting. Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her. Ah, Cloud Retainer. You look even more beautiful than the last time I remember. Further explanation shall only fan She the can also hear the thoughts, right? It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest. I love this song, by the way. This little song. Deep. Boop, boop, boop. We can hardly avoid her forever. <laughs> that may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? True. Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. Oh, she knows. Wait, she, you're telling she doesn't know? <sighs> Hello? <laughs> you know, she reminds me of Jesse right now from Pokemon, actually. Go retrieve the kite. Yes. Absolutely not. You retrieve it. <laughs> that is not our kite. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? <laughs> ah, you're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. <laughs> wow, such good roleplay. You do not feel normal human at all. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. <laughs> Pray. Who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? <laughs> Your cover's blown, come on. Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. <sighs> this locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! <laughs> no, that's Enkidomiya. Stop trying to steal my joke. Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Ah, very smooth, guys. <laughs> we finally got oh. it. Oh! You sure do fly fast and you're a little Oh, I'm throwing them under the bus. <laughs> I'm 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 actually telling. Moon Carver, Moon Carver? Oh, I didn't. It's Paimon. She. A little bit. Uh it's funny though. I can't wait for this. It is of no consequence. Okay, long she knew. Has one seen through their disguises? One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. <laughs> then you are not angry? Uh, merely disappointed. Hmm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? Aw, stop. One is also well She's aware baiting. of how enticing these city novelties can be. Aw, you're making it wholesome. No, where's the, where's the turnaround? Where's when you beat him up? <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. Uh-huh. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. Right. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. What can these guys do? They, I feel, they, they haven't achieved anything. They can't craft, they can't cook. Can they fight? Is that it? Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. Nah, you're, you just you said Full 10 was better. And waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. No. Of this, we are well aware. Fake ass. 
Mm. They're being fake. One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Oh wow, that's 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 actually harsh. Leaving instantly, that's the better lesson. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. I'll try. You're going bird mode. Teach me how to go bird and then maybe. Paimon. Paimon, carry me, please. Okay, my dream is in the end game. They give us they give us they give us flying. Hello. It seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Both of your concern. Then should we continue flying the kite? <laughs> He's like, it was actually kind of fun. Should we just keep going? A splendid suggestion. Ah. It would be advisable to change locations. Definitely. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? Your mountain. It is more than spacious enough. Right. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. They're just silly gooses. Silly geese. That's plural for goose. I knew that. I'm just silly. What a nice, wholesome arc. Very nice. Very fan of it. Hey, look, we get this one anyway. Hello, besties. I'm back. They're back. I know. <laughs> I love the little wave. <gasps> My mind's pooped. <laughs> The rest had to go sleep. They're all little babies. After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. <laughs> That's cute. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Aww. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Uh huh. Oh, what did he say? Thanks for playing. I had fun. He said, "A kite is always tied down, no matter wow. how far it flies Stop. or how high it soars." Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Oh, it's so philosophical. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Yeah, he's dealing with that family issue. Now that you mention it, Gaoming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Perhaps he sees himself reflected in them. A reflection of himself? Mm-hmm. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol <laughs> of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Yeah, I get what you mean. It's just how you look at it. Shenha? Yeah. It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection. Yeah. But lose it. And you lose that which links you to home. Sure. If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Mm hmm Well... People often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? Yep. It's actually quite normal. She's right. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but <laughs> others won't go anywhere near it. Yep, that's exactly the exact example. See, I'm not good at speaking. Other people are. Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Ah, uh, we're this always lantern is just being about being inclusive. It Tolerance and understanding. <laughs> what brought about this conversation? <laughs> Did one miss something? Yes. We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on everything. Hey. You know. Where were you anyway? I feel like. Hmm. I feel like Paimon's being a little bit mean, but it's okay. She just was interested. Hmm. One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Uh oh. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, yes. one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Yes, please. Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy <laughs> your cooking, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> she doesn't want it. Worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar Aww. with everyone's culinary proclivities. Uh, dibs of Pymon's portion. Hey, Pymon's hungry too. <laughs> Well, unlucky you, I guess. Shenhe, Ganyu, come with me. How about how about us? Oh, what's with all the secrecy? You're not trying to play favorites, are you? I don't think so. She's if not like that. If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. <laughs> She's prepping. She's cooking something, and it's not food. I'll tell you that. You wait outside, Cloud. Outside, Cloud. This is. <laughs> the fits. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You know, I said it before. Oh, I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. Oh no. This Stop. This is a bit embarrassing. 
This is everything the Ganyu enjoys want. Oh, no, 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 no. I think the, the costumes are nice, the skins, but I kind of like her original one more. And Shenha's is nice. I like that one more out of the two, but when I compare them to, like, Jean skin, I kind of like Jean skin more. It's, it's, like, so different. And these are kind of just, mm, you know. Is the headpiece secure? I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. It looks great. <laughs> How do we look? <laughs> great. <laughs> huh? She asked them just like that? Yeah, you look great. You look pretty too, Ganyu. Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, <laughs> the wind flowing. So That's so OP. Uh, yeah. outfits really suit you both. How can it all look good when it's flowing like this? Come on. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, being herself, one would expect <laughs> nothing less. <laughs> what colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Very, very sneaky. Lately, why is Cloud Retainer See? suddenly so asking sneaky. about what colors we like? <laughs> I like black. Nice. One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own taste. <laughs> The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. <laughs> and you, Ganyu? Good reason, good reason. I favor blue and black. Uh-huh. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? <laughs> the little bell. Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift. And the kite, too. Uh-huh. Thank you, Master. <laughs> this is super cute. One is content as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Right. You sit down and enjoy a table full of delicious food and pleasant company. Paimon is still not full. Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xianyan! Bet this was made without it. This golden crab's particularly good. <laughs> the shell's deliciously crunchy, Ew. and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet! Ew. <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. You're eating- wait, you eat the shell? The crunchy part? It's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. Uh -huh. You know, with chopsticks. You trounce him. He traveled all this <laughs> way on account of the kite-making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. Uh-huh. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. I'm sure he'll get a chance. <sighs> oh, well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. Yeah. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> <laughs> One has high standards. <laughs> he appears to be a young man of much merit, and one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. Right. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. <laughs> kite string? Yes. Huh. What strange metaphors you speak in Shenhe. <laughs> Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, uh huh. Your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Uh-huh. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? Wouldn't it be kind of impolite to just tell them? I, I guess it's fine. One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. Yeah. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Mm-hmm. Oh? Mm-hmm. Ran away, you say? Yep. Huh. One believes we would all benefit <laughs> from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. All right, fade to black, white text. You recount Gaming's tale to Cloud Retainer and the others. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. I, yeah. Paimon tells Cloud Retainer everything she knows about Gaming's what? family situation. I know. This shall not do. <gasps> Lantern right fast approaches. We <laughs> must make haste. <laughs> Fly on, her, fly on your back. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, mm -hmm. one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. Minogius? He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. Yeah. He had an exquisite oh, no, eye, stop. not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. That's cool. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance, that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, wow. lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. Yeah. However, oh, when one asked Minogius' opinion, 
He remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adeptal countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Mm -hmm. Minogius was that type of person. Yeah. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could <laughs> rest his stubbornness. <laughs> and later... <laughs> keep it up, keep it up. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> one seems to have strayed off topic. It's okay, I liked it. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. I agree. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Yes. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this it is, silly, is that though. suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. Mm -hmm. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. But it's stupid that people try and reconcile before, like, something big happens. They're just waiting for a reason. Don't wait until the last day before Lantern, right? Get it done earlier. That's nice and all, but... Yeah. Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Yes. We're gonna organize his dancing. Everyone's gonna love it, and his dad's gonna be convinced. Boom. Hmm. Perhaps Adeptal Arts could be of use. No. <sighs> no, no. No, Mechanics, no. No, no, perhaps. no. No, 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 no. One fails to see its use in a situation such as this. We need emotional support. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes. Hmm. Cheer him on. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. How thematic, yes. Aha! One has an idea. Alright, let's hear it. What is it? What have you cooked up? How about this? Yep, I'm signing. Deal. Does that make sense to everyone? Yep. Exactly what I was gonna say too. Yep. Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Mm-hmm. Hmm. One's designs never <laughs> fail. <laughs> now then, I count right. to rest for all. And to make the necessary preparations, one shall see you in two days. Cool. Two days. Again. A cloud sea appeal. A brilliance revealed. Yes. Indeed. And there it was once more. Where's the table? Everything's gone. I wanted to chat with them a little bit more. I feel betrayed. Guys. All right. Unfortunate. In that case, we shall be. Actually, you can probably find people somewhere. Oh, I should look that up. I'll do it. Okay, it seems like you can find them after part three, and we just completed part two. So I'm going to. I should have done this while looking it up. <laughs> I'm a bit silly. But. Bum, 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 it's bum, time bum. to carry out the plan! Sure is. Let's go find Gaming. Hope everything goes well. The plan, eh? Alright. Oh, we're in Minland. Quick, get out of Minland. Nah, Minland. Mount Outsang. Mount, Mount Outsang is saving Minland. Hey, Chief. How's it going? Listen, we have an idea. Hi, Gaming! Paimon sees you've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Yup. Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? <laughs> hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. It sounds like it. Ah, oh, perfect. You're all good. Hey! Here, there's an important commission I need your help with. Okay, again. Alright, I've got the time. Where are the goods? He's like, no, I need you to enjoy your day. Well, it's not just goods this time. Oh. I need you to escort a Bro. tea merchant and their wares from Chowying Village to Liyue Harbor. That's so far. A very important client has requested to meet with him. This is just to distract him. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? 65 Minlin Outsang Street. We're here. <laughs> Your dad. <laughs> if the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very important <laughs> mission, right? Yes. Um... Of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. Mm -hmm. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. Fine by me. <laughs> Aha. All right. Um, don't work too hard now, Long Joe. We'll set off then. All right, let's move. Oh, I hadn't seen this. That's so cool. What? The Gled Gleed return to the pavilion. I don't know how to pronounce that at all. Coming. Oh. Oh, so many ducks. It's so pretty here. Wait, this is so pretty. Where am I? Oh, no, 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 please. I've never been here. Don't do the world quest. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. This is so pretty. You're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Wow. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm very scared of moving, like... Somewhere unnecessary. I don't want to start the Hello. world quest. You must be the tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> We're here to escort you. <laughs> <laughs> Yip tack. Hey. Talk to us. 
Dad? No shocker. <sighs> no surprise here. Oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Yes, indeed. Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Mm -hmm. Gaming is super good at what he does. <laughs> Not overselling it at all. You know, especially Wuju Dates, he's really good at that. I've seen him do it before. He's actually very impressive. One of the best in town, some would say. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency knows <laughs> much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. It's true. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. Hey, 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 old man. No need to be like this. The the goods are all in order? Yes. Yes, they're all here. Awesome. Then let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> nice and comfortable little trip. It's only four kilometers on foot anyway. Uh, Candace, not now. important client has asked for you by name. You kind of have to come with us. Mm -hmm. Paimon doesn't know how we would explain ourselves if you just didn't show up. Yeah. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. They're very big. I see. Mm-hmm. Oh. I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me then. Okay. Let's go. That was easier than I thought. Are we just gonna teleport? No. Interesting. I'm go I'm going to teleport. I would have walked. Totally would have walked. <laughs> but you know, the world quest in the way and whatever. Shao! If you scream it loud enough, he'll show up. Shao! Shao, 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 shao. Never works with me. <laughs> nope. I'm fine. So is Gaming. Uh, Gaming, don't you usually have some delicious snacks on you? <laughs> Come on, bring them. Share them. I'm fine. Thank you. Hey. Uh, but the winter melon cake he gave us last time was so delicious. Uh huh. Have you ever tried it before, Mister Yip? Have you, Mister Yip? Uh, Paimon. Remember this guy? Truly forsaken his followers. <laughs> I remember that dude. There you go. Look at this a cute little corner right here to rest. Behind this is a chest you have to burn away. I remember. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Deal. Huh? What about you? You're not going to join me? <laughs> uh, weird bird over there, huh? That's suddenly hidden by my head. I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Alright. The Adeptus is here intentionally to summon enemies so he can dance on him. Oh, but... No. Just let him go. Yep. <laughs> okay. We'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know <laughs> he just that turned the his back. Of these cakes changes depending on the tea you've drank before? Okay, before I let Padma finish this, I wanted to say about this situation, oftentimes, and obviously it's not always the case, but oftentimes it feels like the person that really wants you to follow their path, it being your parents, is like, it gives a sense of security for you. Like, it's not even for them per se. It's more like they care for you and they don't want to see you fail, even though you'd rather do something else. Like, I don't think this dad's just an ass. I think he just wants the best for him and he just doesn't know what the best is. But for him, he thinks safety would be it. And selling tea <laughs> would be that, I think. In his opinion, anyway. That's how I see it. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, whoa! Nice blade! It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Yo, okay, roleplay time. Present your exquisite ornament. <laughs> Shut up. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Very well spoken bandits. Uh, what do we do? Oh, give them all your wealth. It seems as if these two are acting alone. Yes. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Is? Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Yes. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from me. <laughs> no coming. It's too dangerous. See, he cares. This is what I do. Yes, coming. Wink. <laughs> a thorny foe, indeed. <laughs> Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. <laughs> uh-uh. Don't think I'm going to let you off so easily. <sighs> I'm sobbing. They're so away. funny, actually. Let us away. <laughs> They're actually coming. great. He's got it, Yip. Don't worry about it, Yip. Don't he is, yep. I believe in him. Paimon's 
You should believe in him too. He did. But coming. I, I know. He's your little boy. I know. Sometimes your little boy grows up, and he's a big boy. If he had just stayed by my side and learned the family See? What did I tell you? He wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. What if you let him become a dancer? Bro, people wouldn't kill him if he was a dancer. We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here. Mm -hmm. In case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Clare Clarotainer is not here anymore in the background. I love when they do a little thing in the background you can see. I love, I live for that. Going to plan. <laughs> Run! <laughs> okay, we should be good to stop here. Bongles? Bong Bonglito? Yongli? Oh no, what is he doing here? <laughs> He's flying a kite. <laughs> it's Hu Tao! <laughs> good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. <laughs> there are bandits in the area. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. Wink at him. <laughs> He's so peaceful. Bandits acting in broad daylight. Stop. Sean Lee. It's a plan. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop, please. I can't handle no more. Ah, I see. <laughs> It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. Yeah. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, mm. perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Uh, nope, no need, no need. Paimon's <laughs> fine. She just uh, had some cake mm -hmm. stuck in her throat. Yeah. Uh, he must have figured it out by now. Is he just playing dumb on purpose? If there are indeed bandits in the area, okay, then we good. should inform the Millilith at once. The guard that was, that was escorting us is already on their tail. Oh? Well, if that's the case, we're safe. Such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't yep. you agree? I agree. <sighs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only <laughs> cause more trouble. Dude has no idea who he's standing with. <laughs> he's like, we're just here, four normies, well, three normies and a floating baby that I'm not going to question. But, you know, four normies. <laughs> and there's a little bit more history to these three people. Since we find ourselves otherwise... I knew he was going to ask for tea, right? this beautiful area. Why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Deal. Hmm... That would be lovely. Ah, <laughs> oh, Boggles. Boggles the legend. This is nice. I like this. I'm gonna farm this apple tree. This is an iconic apple tree. I like this apple tree. Look at the amount of apples. Many apples. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you set up some tea for us, even. It's almost as if Cloud Retainer has planned this, too. So, uh, Uncle Lip does have a reason to be worried. After all, Ga Ming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Mm-hmm. Ga Ming. The name sounds somewhat to me. <laughs> ah, yep, yes. there it is. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is mm -hmm. it not? Oh, you know of him too? Yes, he's very well renowned. Oh, have you seen him perform? <laughs> Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. Yes. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Mm hmm. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyue Harbor recently. Mm hmm. However, Although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. Yes. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. Yes, I was going to say that too. If you ask me, <laughs> what truly deserves admiration mm -hmm. is perseverance in the face of adversity. Yep. That is a rare attribute indeed. Mm -hmm. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise like that one. for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. Uh-huh. To have a child so accomplished, <laughs> that, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Ah, oh, he's being actually farmed. Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I need this, just blinking like this. I live for it. Ah, uh, uh, I need a moment. Ah, uh, this is my favorite thing I've ever seen in the game. I need that. Seems like Sean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. Yeah, he can. Uh, well, he... <laughs> he's a hard worker. Yes. 
You should be sure to tell him you think that when he cuts back. Yes, you should because he feels very betrayed by your non-trust. Careful, this pigeon is coming to kill me. I see. I know him. Gaming, help! Gaming, I need help again. I... He's coming closer. <laughs> what is it? Your son is young yet. It's normal for young someone yet. his age to be a bit hot-headed. Yes. If he walked away from home, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, he did actually. Oh, shocker. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. Yeah. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, mm -hmm. perhaps we could pass it along for you. Although it sounds fake as hell, so you should do it yourself. No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. Good man, Yip. <sighs> yeah. This thing between us has festered for many years now. Mm hmm In truth... There are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. Mm -hmm. I've been in the tea business for most of my life. And See? I always <laughs> hoped my child would do the same. Uh huh. Otherwise, how would he support himself? He won't at the start, but that's where you support him. Until he can support himself. Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. Mm hmm. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. Yeah. I also heard that he never gave up on Wu Show dancing. Uh huh. It made me happy. But I was also worried. Mm hmm. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. Yeah. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Well, he can start his tea business then. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. Bruh. That I was right not to give in. You're trying to convince yourself. I often regret introducing him to Wu Show dancing as a kid. You silly. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. You gave him the gift of passion, and now you're backtracking on it? It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. Yes. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. Yes. You need not worry. Yes. Yep. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> Yet you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. Mere 500 years of age in my legs. And believe it or not, I can still support myself and do some Ushu dancing. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Yes. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. <laughs> this is Cloud Retainer, isn't it? Then she is more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. If you can say that about yourself, you don't lack the open mind. You just don't wanna. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Iptak. <laughs> Why are we so shocked by this again? Why? Iptak, gotcha. Why are we in shock? I don't understand. If if Gaming can become friends with people so quick, why couldn't his dad? Sure. Yeah. I don't understand why we're making such a big deal out of this. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? That is your decision to take, Ip. <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Mm-hmm. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. Of course. But think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. <laughs> Hold the string too tight, <laughs> and it can no longer soar. It's true. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. Yeah. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. Mm-hmm. <sighs> It seems I was too stuck in my ways. See, if you can admit this, you're not too close-minded. That's what I mean. If you can admit that you supposedly have a too close mind, you don't. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Yes. This is what I... Hey, I said this, but way less complicated a little bit ago. That bird is still there. Look at him. Assassin's Creed. Indeed, with such a big heart. Why not allocate the time you usually Cheering spend him on. worrying about Gami? Mm -hmm. To the pursuit of other things. Like cheering him on. Like going for a stroll. No. Drinking tea. No. Or taking in the scenery. No. 
You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. I can already feel it. Gumming is going to be dancing at the lantern, right? And he's going to be in the crowd. And they're going to start crying together. I can't wait for it. <laughs> the blink of an eye, you say? Yes. Do things change so quickly? Clearly, because when you didn't let him do his thing, he ran from home and you haven't spoken to him in years. Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Yes. Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, mm -hmm. but always when you least expect it. <laughs> like ninjas. As a father, I'm <laughs> sure you know that best. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Yep. Sean Lee certainly has a way with words. You only know that now? Uh, our boy is coming back. He got them. He's safe. Oh, Gaming is back. Look at him. Not even an injury. Hey, Gaming, we're over here. Hey, Chief. Kill that bird, please. Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Jong Lee from the Wangsheng Funeral Project? <laughs> you're here too? Coin kidding, huh? <laughs> a fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Yes, and tea. Uh, <clears throat> go on, go on, come on, you can do it. Is everything resolved? Did you did you survive? Are you okay, my son? Well, you could say that. But what does that mean? <laughs> and he sus instantly. Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Alright. Hmm. Oh, He's mad at us for setting it up. Why do you do that? I wanted to prove it myself. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, <laughs> you sent them, didn't you? <laughs> no. Uh, 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 so, that's how we're starting this? <laughs> Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Yes. Okay, but how did you know? Their speech. They didn't talk like bandits. Come at on. At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. <laughs> I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. <laughs> You're too slow. Work harder. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start. Like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Wow, you're so smart. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. Yeah. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and Liyue Harbor anytime. <laughs> okay. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? Yeah. I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me? Yeah. Good answer. <sighs> Sorry for stealing the show. I appreciate it. I, I really do. I'm not sure. But... And this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. And? Even if those two were real bandits, and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it... Wrong. It wouldn't change anything. Wrong. You've seen the way he talks to me. Wrong. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Yep. Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Mm-hmm. You don't believe us? Come on in. He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. And you? Will you talk to him? <laughs> you told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Uh -huh. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Yep. Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. It's okay, because that's why we've pre prepared a show for you, man. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Yep. Listen to us. It's time to put these people's skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? Why not especially your dad? Good luck. We'll be rooting for you. Won't try to hurt to try, try to hurt. <laughs> I know, Chief. I'll do my best. I believe in you. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Yes. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems 
I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. It also depends what kind of water you want. You know, the waters of the Niwa, they're pretty sweet, but the waters of Fontaine are pretty sour. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. Yes. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? All of it. Not like it's alcohol. <laughs> if Doc and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much <laughs> like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Yes. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Yes. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Of course, Father. I would like to discuss something with you, if this would be okay. <clears throat> You need to move your 500 year old rock ass out of here. I ah, yes. very much enjoyed our conversation, <laughs> Doc. But I unfortunately have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. Yes. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. You did, but I enjoyed my time. See you around. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. <laughs> when you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. Nice. It would be an honor. Awesome. Later. Later, Bongles. We'll see you up, Zhongli. Yep. You two have a nice chat, alright? <laughs> Very sneaky, guys. <laughs> Great work. I'm sneaking up on this. Should we sit? Yes. Uh... Sure. Come on, friends. I believe in you. I'm leaving with Zhongli. I, I know where he went. Totally. Bongles. Bongles, you were in on this, weren't you? You sneaky Thanks boy. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. My king. I have been around the both of you for some time now. <laughs> you could say I have a certain <laughs> level of expertise in that regard. Hey, no need to toot your own horn this hard, man. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. I know, but you didn't give away the secret. <laughs> you never change, do you? you? You signed a contract. Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. That would be disrespectful. A friend approaches. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Shocker. So, you're here too? Hello. I've been here the whole time. What? <laughs> a ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? Oh, this seems so cozy. What is she doing here? Oh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, <laughs> Zhang Li, I might as well go pay my respects. Dude. <laughs> Even in his thoughts, he's like, Rex, uh -huh, sorry, Zhang Li. Poof. Poof. <laughs> nice. I like that. I like that face. You know why. It's you. I thought you were director who? Nope. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. <laughs> Do you want to try out this new gadget? <laughs> the addition of the power source makes the takeoff This more is very stable. cute. It's just that... Yeah. He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. <laughs> I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the oh. pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. I like that. It's a bit of a shame. I like that take. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. <laughs> I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Yes. Mm. Tradition. Ugh. Yeah. And then... Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy, what is it, sesame oil or something? <laughs> That's true, That's what it was last year too. While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for lantern rice. Uh-huh. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I think there's some emotional meaning behind it, like sesame street is always happy and they hope her streets always happy too i've only met director who a few times i'm hardly the best person to ask right ah 
And is that not a sign that you should <laughs> visit Wang Sheng <laughs> funeral parlor more often? <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again. Yeah. You are otherwise unoccupied. He's right. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Go with it. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. I actually really like how Hu Tao does not care if Shang Li's older or whatever. She'll just be like, yeah, go do this. Go figure this out real quick, because that's your job. We're friends, but also you work for me. So go do these mundane things. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? Come on, do it. That'd be so cute. All right. Yes. I have made my comparisons. Oh, we don't get to see him fly a kite. That'd be so funny. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Okay. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Shang Li, you heard his tone. There's a butt. I'll leave these two kites with you. There's a butt. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. Wink. You might find wink, it wink. to be an enjoyable use of your time. Wink, wink, wink. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Shao Kamad. Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom <laughs> is more than capable of finding out. He's such a dad. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Uh huh. Kinda didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. What do you mean? I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Yeah. Besides, we did the testing together. Yeah. Like our pool of competitors is growing. Competition is not the important thing right now. We're gonna win. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're gonna win. Yeah. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? Yes. I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Ah, a nice and vanilla Xiao answer. Love it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. So you like it. Like a Xiao lantern. Say it. Perhaps they're a bit like Xiao lanterns. Wow. I knew he would. Hmm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Yes. Have you ever thought about making a kite, Xiao? Come with us. Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. Yes. There's no need. Yes, there is. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. I know, we've heard something about it. He made a dress too long so she couldn't fight, but he disagreed. When Lantern Ride is over, come find me near oh. Pavesi's temple if oh. you have time. Oh, wait. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. It's getting. I late. haven't finished that world I quest. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. I wonder how it's gonna look then. How's she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. Yes. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. Okay. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. Deal. We'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiang Li. Bye. See you next time. Take care. Oh, nice transition. Sick uh, transition. Yeah. Yeah. Dad. Mean, uh, <laughs> Dad, son. Uh, it's okay, guys. Uh, you can go first. How polite. I don't have anything to say. Wow. Then I'll go. Nice. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Boom. Oh. Bam. I can't say I support that decision, but... But? <sighs> hey, how, how, are you, how are you mad already? Hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> he, that's just how he breathes. Every time he breathes in, he used to stand up. Sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. <laughs> Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? <laughs> They're gonna be the perfect mom and daughter beside them just to be insulting. No. No need. I'm not tired. <laughs> They're gone, master. <laughs> perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. <laughs> Do you remember the plan when um, recounted to you? Yes. Yes, master. Yes, mother. To give them a demonstration of familial love. <laughs> oh, this is great. So I'll have whatever you are having. Aww. All right. What are Auntie Xian Yun and Shen Ha doing here? <laughs> so many people are involved in this scheme. We're all involved. I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. This is what friends do. Perfect. 
I just so happened to have bought some Careful, there's hillitrols. Recently, it's quite the delectable variety. <laughs> or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. Ah, uh, yeah. One has more than had one's fill already. Oh my, yeah, you bought, you got the fifty percent off deal. I, I mean, I did cheer you on to do it. I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. <laughs> Has work been busy during the holiday season? <laughs> Do you need my help with anything? <laughs> Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me, by pinning their heads against the table. Uh huh. Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shen He serious right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, mm -hmm. one seems to have forgotten about Shunha's various eccentricities. It's okay, you can work around it. I believe in you. Mm. What, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, <laughs> have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other. I love her expression. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Uh-huh. <sighs> You already know of my past circumstances. <laughs> Shut up, come on, work work with us. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. <laughs> Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. Nice. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. Okay, he's actually gonna make... She's gonna make him pity her. And be like, oh, Gaming has it kind of nice in the city with all his friends. I guess... Maybe yep. Gaming is not doing so bad after all. <laughs> Perhaps I've been too hard on him. You have. You just admitted to bongles. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> do you have any plans for today, Shenhe? <laughs> How about we do something fun? <laughs> that sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. <laughs> what? This dude. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking <laughs> herbs to eat for dinner along the way. Yeah. If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going so poorly. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. That's how you've been, though. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying Finally. to say before. Finally. This is what I was going to say, because he's just eavesdropping on us, but he hasn't even finished his sentence that he was going to walk away because of... I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. Here or there? If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to mm -hmm. avoid butting heads. Mm -hmm. But you'll have your entire family around you. <laughs> your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. Mm -hmm. You could get a less taxing job. And we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. This is the perfect opportunity to say that you, you see that he cares, but that's not your dream. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, master. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> He's dropping. Just think about it. Okay? You don't have to decide now. He can come back and have dim sum with you every now and then, but he wants to live in Liwa Harbor. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. <laughs> yeah. But I... Yep. You don't want to go back. Thank you, Dad. But it's a no from me, says Simon Cowell. <sighs> he knows the answer. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm sure hope Stop. made up by now. Stop. We always ruin oh, it. They're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Did Shenyan's plan not work after all? This looks so awkward, actually. Paimon, we go sit at the table. We show them how it goes. We were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Uh huh. Flying kites and all. You know how it is. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, let's go. I'll get the vax. I can't tell. Maybe that's all they needed. <sighs> Gaming he 
has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yep, sure has. Guys, I have to. Ning, save me. Yes, I got the chicken that was trying to kill me the entire time. Hey, girls. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? <laughs> I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, <laughs> I started to wonder. We're different from them, Shinha. Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way. Yep. <laughs> but the outcome proved favorable. Absolutely. The plan was a success. Nice job. Then I helped? Yes. Naturally. <laughs> your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shen He. It's true. You need not change who you are. Yes. Absolute cuties. Cuties. I'm going here. Ah, all right. I'm about I'm about ready to hit a little sob. Hit me with a little sob. Give me a second here, Charlotte, because I need to fly around. Yeah. You see? Oh God. See now? Now I'm coming from the wrong way again. You must be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. <laughs> My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. Yep. You can find me writing for the Steambird. Mm -hmm. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? How proud are you? Are you or your son who dances? An interview? To advertise my teas? Yes. I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers too. Uh huh. The Fontaine Market. Yep. Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Deal. That will fake the interview. Perfect. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Come with me, oh young man. I mean, ah, uh, that's Lil Wink. She's in on it too. Everyone's this in on it. person also involved in your plan? No, what plan? What do you mean? She's the very important client. And here, I thought I had lots of connections. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I've been humbled. That's right. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Yeah, don't try and tr don't try and flex on me ever again. And don't try and fly a kite higher than me, because I'm gonna win that competition. Over here, you who? <laughs> Over here. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Auntie Shen Yu. She's my favorite. She probably wants to talk uh. about the next phase of the plan. Yes. So let's go while your dad is still distracted. You understand? You're gonna dance, my son. <sighs> I'm so excited for you. I love her. Hello. I take it that all is going well. All is going according to plan, literally and figuratively. Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. <laughs> Auntie Shenyun is really something. She's a legend. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear <laughs> foolish in front of my family. <laughs> she truly knows how to look out for others. Uh huh. I still have a lot to learn. Hey, you're just a little boy. As for the next step. Yeah. Oh no. What? What's wrong, Gummy? He's role playing. Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. <laughs> Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Uh huh. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ning Wang would Ah, say. Ning mentioned. Great. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. Mm -hmm. She's going to bring it back to the Steambird as a gift. As well as a sample of the regional specialty. And then Nur will say that it was a national investment fund. Instead of funding, they're going to be funding tea for the people. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. Yep. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, mm -hmm. getting Armora back will be a piece of cake. A piece of melon cake, even. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Business-related matters always seem to Whoa. go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose more on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. You don't have the money, and no. We can talk about such matters at a later date. Yes. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Agree. Are there not? Yes. Yes. Good. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea. Okay. But I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hey, we're in this deep. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Good words. Yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Mm -hmm. Just tell us. Yes, let's hear it. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. We're not gonna hear this again, are we? No. I love when they do this. This is great. Thanks. Thanks for keeping us out. Got it. Just leave it 
What is this called in writing? You know how someone actually told me in a comment years ago during one of these quests what dramatic irony was? So it would be like us, the viewer, know what's going on, but our character doesn't? What's the other way around? Our character knows, but we don't. Non-dramatic. Or maybe it's still dramatic, but it's not irony and it's... Help me, please. Let's split up and make it happen. Deal. Oh, the people just disappeared. We need to find them. They're all disappearing. At the little table beside behind Gami. We need to do those things we talked about, but uh -huh. we also still have the kite flying competition. Dude, I thought Lantern Ride was about relaxing and enjoying your time. I'm always so stressed out. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, uh -huh. why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or no. whatever they're called? No. We can attach it to our kite. I wanna play it I wanna play it real. I don't wanna use no mechanical thingamabobs. I wanna go only with pure skill. This is a nice spot to chill. Alright, to the kite stall. Noom. I like the whopper flower too. It's whopper flower or goldfish for me if I get the pick. But I guess we're just gonna fly our Paimita, Hello, right? Again. Hello, I forgot your name. Well, I remember it, but I just don't want to butcher back. it. I see you returned from your trip. Please say it yourself. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Of course. Thanks to you, my daughter Aww. was able to build a kite with her grandmother <laughs> the very same day. Nah. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. I'm happy for you. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Sure. Oh, Charlotte. Oh, I'll be sure to. Deal. And. Are you here to buy a kite? Yes. Please, take your pick. Can I have the goldfish? Oh, we already have a kite. No. We to buy one of those, um... I want the goldfish. ...device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? No. Ah, yes. Here you go. Aww. Please, take it. Free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Cloud Retainer's never gonna forgive us. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just... Take it. Uh-huh. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your more. <laughs> How about 50-50, then? <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. Thank you. I'll be rooting for you. Hey, you can't say that. You're biased. All right, then. You're not allowed. I mean, thanks. <laughs> We're doing it in front of her. <sighs> it's done. Nice job, Paimita. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Go talk to... Charlotte, I forgot. I should have went to talk to Charlotte. This is beautiful night sky. Look at the beautiful night sky. Like we finished everything we needed to do. Yeah. Let's find a good place and put this thing into the sky. Dang it! She was right here, and I missed it. I missed it. She's gone as well. I can't even talk to her again. I want more. I want more. Okay, this is beautiful. I love this. Oh, oh, it's th is it the same thing from last year? That was awful. <laughs> the puzzles. Actually, I'm kind of excited for it still. Oh. It's time for the cutscene! Even the Fatui lady is popping up. That's cute. Look at that. <laughs> These two are so cute! Way more elegant. I can't wait to win the competition, guys. Look! How cute! <laughs> Why don't we have a cute fit? I'm still mad. Yes. Oh, it's it. Don't make it end. I need way more. Oh. Oh. What's going on? A power outage. No, it's the focus on the middle part. No, no, no. Wait for it. <laughs> oh my God! It's a demon. Awakening from the seas. He's walking on water. It's actually It's an Archon. Boom. <laughs> Wait, this is really cool though. Quick run. That's the dad right there. I want to see them look at each other. Oh, he's... He's like swirling the lanterns. <laughs> this is so cool. Actually. <laughs> oh. Whoa, he's so light-footed. Is he writing something? Or like drawing something? 
<laughs> Cute as hell. Yeah. Here it is, they're gonna meet eyes. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, that got me. That's the one. <laughs> Already? She's out. <laughs> oh, I'm winning. Where's Paimon? Oh, Zhongli's not bad. Where are we? I want to win. I don't care about the friends. I don't care about the friends we made along the way. Here we come, here we come. Watch this. Oh. Oh, it's gonna rip apart, isn't it? Wait, the wind. <laughs> Stop. Sobbing. I'm too busy sobbing to say anything. She let them loose. <laughs> no, I'm gonna sob. <laughs> and we didn't even win either. What a lame ending. This girl disappeared in front of my very eyes. Oh, oh, he's over there, talking to his dad. Yeah. Ah, we like that. Yeah, I could see the <laughs> I could see the eyes meeting scene coming from the start. Wow. I think I'll head off now, if that's okay. <laughs> Show you the goats. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? Nah, she's good. No need, no need. Master is waiting for me right over there. <laughs> ah. You guys talk. I need a moment. Hmm. <laughs> Dad. Oh, you gotta go this time. Dad's going. <laughs> go for it. Well, I suppose I'll go first this time. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Your performance. I've seen many wushou dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled <laughs> off there was breathtaking. You're breathtaking. Wow. <laughs> I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. Of course. You're serious about doing this professionally? Nah, I'm memeing. Actually, I quit right now. A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Yeah. Then it doesn't matter. <laughs> What I mean to say is, of course, it'll be difficult. Uh-huh. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. Let's go, Dad. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. That's what I'm talking about. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> <laughs> Actually... Clever Tater Moe. Save that story of my past for another time. Ah, uh, he was gonna say he just has his own child trauma from it. All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. Fly your kite together, champs. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Come on, then. Symbolically, cut the cut the rope. Dad. <laughs> son. I love you, son. Son. I haven't heard that in a while. Hey, he just said it when you said the things together. First time he said Gao Ming, second time he said Sun. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, Dad. Well, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Anyway, I know I've never found a uh, chance to say this before, but... Come on. <clears throat> come on. To me, Gao Ming. No, oh, come on, you've Dad. You've always been a great kid. <laughs> Come on, Dad, say the L word. Dad? 
All right, that's everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? Yeah. <laughs> yes, the hug. I was hoping for it. More hugs in Genshin. <laughs> Yeah, wow. It was all because of you. Give yourself a pat on the back. I can't believe this. Yeah, sure. Now go. Go, my son. Over there. Your friends are still waiting for you. Say the L word. Huh? But you came all this way. Uh-huh. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. Ah. When you have time, we can grab them some together. <laughs> Your tree, right? Wow, Dad, what the hell? That's actually messed up. Dad. Honestly. <laughs> Go. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. And then I'm off. See you soon. <laughs> that is very... That is very much... Relatable. You're not gonna win, though. I'm winning this kite competition. Stop teasing. <laughs> uh, really? No. That's not actually. To be embarrassed about. Anything else you'd like to do? Hmm. Beat up some more hill trolls. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun. Yeah. As well as everyone else who's helped me out. Fair enough. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and... Grab some dim sun? Yeah, deal. Go fly a kite. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure. Yes, the Gleed returns to the pavilion. I don't know how to pronounce Gleed? Gled? I don't even know what it means. Just joy, maybe? Glee, as in G-L-E-E. -E. Hustle and bustle. Oh, Hustle and Where's dad? I want to talk to dad. I thought that was him. All right, guys. Wait until two days later. So it's not yet over. Let's do that first. Ah, yeah. Nice little, nice little emo moment with the Gensh. I'll never get used to it. Every time. The thing is, right, with these stories, it's kind of the moral of this story, too. Depending on how you interpret it, you can always find it relatable. Like, there's always a bottom and truth in every in every story that you can kind of relate to something you've been through. I think that's what makes the game so emotional for me. But I like this story. What's interesting is that it's a lot less, like, lore involved. Oh, yeah, between 12 and 4. It's a lot less lore involved, and that's honestly not a bad thing per se. I did like it when- I know it sucks, but I did like when limited time events had lore. Can you- look at this Fontaine here? And Sumeru from Liu? It's wild. Oh, hi, man. Oh my, that's so far. Yeah. We didn't have anything else to do today, right? Why don't we go have a look around? Well, Maybe I'm, we'll run into her. I'm gonna have a look around here, because look at what I just found instantly. Hey, Charlotte. Oh, Lantern Right was simply amazing. Uh -huh. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. I mean... Oh, is this... But it's two days later already. I bought the mechanical vertical lifting device. Oh, that? Yeah. Interesting story. Oh god. <laughs> it was invented by a guy from Fontaine. Uh-huh. His name is Ildison. Ildison. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. Right. I believe I have a direct quote from him about this particular one. Sure. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. Let's hear it. The device is powered entirely by mechanical components without the need for any additional energy source. Cool. Basically, it's a manually operated cranking device. I figured. How high it can fly entirely depends on how much force you can exert. I want to win still. Combining this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? Yeah, so smart, dude. Uh, about the interview with the father. Oh, my conversation with Mr. Ip went really well. Cool. I've already sent the first draft of my article back to the Steambird. Neat. It's a piece that contains all the pertinent information while also telling a story. I'm quite proud of it. I'm sure you have reason to be. Oh, that reminds <coughs> me. I should thank everyone who made this possible for me. <laughs> Especially that spirited lady with those peculiar turns of phrase. Uh -huh. Miss Shenyun was her name, right? Yep. It was all thanks to your connections and creativity. I would have never <laughs> thought I'd be able to bring such a special gift back to Fontaine with me. Yeah, you did. Come on, we know you. You're a hustler. Anyway, about Lantern Right. This was my first time experiencing a foreign holiday in person. Yeah. It was I want to do that in real life so, so bad, too. Exciting. I really want that to happen. The festive atmosphere, the contagious holiday spirit, the profound, storied cultural traditions steeped in symbolism. Yeah, I know. It makes me vibrate, too. Oh, I almost forgot. Kuching even gave me a kite with a poem on it that she Aww. wrote herself. No. It goes, 
Dreams are like paper kites. With them do our hopes take flight. Yep. Sailing high above the clouds, they yearn for something more profound. Uh-huh. Yet try we may and try we might. A deeper truth waits in plain sight. <laughs> Though we hang our hopes in skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. That last sentence is a banger. Though we hang our hopes in skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. I want to include so this true. poem in my special feature on Lantern Right. I'm sure a lot of people will love it. I would buy that. Until next time, Charlotte. Yep, and happy Lantern Right to you. You too. Legend. All right. We have a lot more people to find. Nothing around here. Oh, I lied. <laughs> so you're still a big fan of winter melon cake? <laughs> Will we ever get winter melon in the game? Huh? I hope so. Oh, I guess you heard everything Paimon was saying, huh? Because he cares. <laughs> of course. See? She was talking about you. I love that. As your father, how could I not listen? Yeah. Remember back when you were a kid? And you would sit on my shoulders to watch the Wusho dance. <laughs> oh, on our way back home, you would beg me to buy you some winter melon cake. I really want cake because of this story, and I hate you for it. I'm getting braces in three days, though. So I'm actually going to get the cake after this. Because I won't be allowed to eat cake for a year. We would only buy two what at just a happened? time. But before long, we tried the winter melon cake from every vendor <laughs> that street had to offer. Nice. There was also that one time you used your pocket money to cheat <laughs> me. Do you still remember? I did this too. I bought my, my dad a little keychain one time. But we didn't really eat them. Yeah, I remember. He still has it. That was the best winter melon cake I <laughs> ever had. Let's go back sometime. The shop's still there, and I remember the way. No. Nah. My treat, just like before. I love it. Are you sure? Of course, Dad. Absolutely. Come on, Dad. Come on, Father. I'm looking around. So I'm finding people on my own. I'm not even looking this up. Club Retainer might be at her own house. And then Xiao, we know where Xiao is, obviously. I don't get it. What is it? Is something wrong, Shanha? Tell me. Perhaps I can help. <laughs> The color black doesn't get dirty easily. Yeah. So I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. <laughs> but Xiong Ling told me it was inappropriate. You look too nice. <laughs> but inappropriate? How? Yeah, it is weird, isn't it, in culture? Yeah. She probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. Which is a stupid, stupid thing we've built on. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. Society's weird, Shenha. So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people? <sighs> I suppose that's another way to think of it. Say it, but I think my customers are important. She didn't, but she's thinking it. I know, because we're tight like that. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm actually getting where everyone is. Hmm. One may have won the kite flying competition, Yu Hung, <laughs> but this prize should truly be reserved for another. Wait, really? You need not be so humble, honored Adeptus. She won. Among all the kites, yours is <sighs> quite literally a cut above the rest. Whatever. Please accept this prize. You deserve it. Whatever. I let her win because she was being so nice. Besides, I'm quite certain we owe a fair share of the success of this year's lantern right to you. That's true. <laughs> Can't take any way, anything away from one that. Can hardly continue to refuse. Even though you researched. However, there is another matter with which one would ask your assistance. Even though you researched that Fontanian merchandise you bought when I eavesdropped on you. Of course. Uh huh. Hmm. One would be much obliged if you could distribute this Aww. piece of some low tea among the Millilith. Smart on way to get rid of it, honestly. The security of the festivities rests entirely on their shoulders, after all. Ah. One presumes they could always benefit from something to invigorate their spirits. Yeah. You know, that's a great way to get rid of excess tea while being cute with it. Cloud Retainer is so thoughtful and attentive to others' needs. <laughs> I would expect nothing less of an assistant. She's just happy she can get herself. rid of it. Understood. I'll get on that right away. I'm seeing through you. <laughs> For two reasons, <laughs> indeed. One's tea surplus has hitherto resolved itself. Great. I like. I love that they brought it back to that little joke of her buying way too much. Oh, Yayo and Cheech. They should probably be up here, right? Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's so pretty. I'm kind of. I didn't really see our our 
are crying by me that one. But I think they probably did it intentionally because they didn't want to have to make the three different kites. Nothing like the lantern right vibes to do another temple. Fuck, I really want to. I'm actually so broke. The girlies. Hey, girlies. Our kite is so high up. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, Yao Yao. I uh -huh. am having... A lot of fun. Oh, I'm glad. That's so sweet. If you want, we can go fly kite some other time too. The fun doesn't have to end today. <laughs> really? <laughs> How about we do it during the day next time? That way we can see the design better. <laughs> when it flies super high up, it will look exactly like a real fish. Exactly. 1.1. One. Okay. Uh, can I take this kite to bed? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. That's so sweet. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, here's another fun one. Th I think they're here every year. These are the two from Mondstadt, aren't they? Vlad and Nadia. Maybe some kites that can no longer be retrieved after being sent up in the sky. What say we make one together? I've seen kids discussing the patterns they want to draw on theirs, so it might not be that difficult. Two of us, sure. Let's give it a go. Cute little fatui. <laughs> and here's Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Given your present countenance, one presumes you are missing some old friends again. <laughs> One cannot help but be reminded of them. Yeah. Pray speak. Unburden yourself of these sentiments. He's right. One simply wishes Monogius were alive to witness such peace alongside us. He's looking at us from up there, maybe. Probably not Celestia. We still think they bad. <laughs> he was so skilled in matters of craftsmanship. Yeah. Kite making would scarcely prove to be a test of his oh. capabilities. Yeah. Were he we... yet amongst the living. He could have opened a kite stall. Yeah. One is certain it would have been an establishment rich not only in profit, but also esteem. As if he would care about profit. I realize Shao told us where he would be. He's at the, tr at the temple. And if, as in the past, he were unable to involve himself in matters of the mortal realm, we could sell the kites in his stead. When we finished, we could bring him back wine and partake in drink and good company. <laughs> Mooncarver. Those are now but fond moments in our memories. Yeah. Indeed. The dead are gone, so as the representatives of the living. Enjoy it for them. Let us take in the sights for a bit longer. Yep. If just for his sake. Yep. Where is this temple again? Look, this is why I haven't finished the quest. Hereafter. All is well. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I think he's not here because I've never completed this. And you know why I haven't completed it? Because it's so odd to me, but the fact this house looks like this right now, it's such like a huge change in the world. And it's just kind of cool to keep it like this. Maybe I'll do it. And I'll do the dialogue anyway. Hey, I haven't taken the time to finish Shao's thing yet. So since I couldn't find him, instead I'm going to react to this. <laughs> Which is, it is the interaction with him. Let's see what he has to say. Just as I thought, you stopped short of stepping into the city again. Being in the city isn't the only way for me to appreciate the lights and beauty of Lantern Rite. Uh-huh. Look, Liyue Harbor lies just beyond this mountain. Yeah, and so? As long as I stand at this vantage point, I may freely behold the sights of all the kites uh, slowly ascending into the sky. That's cool. I like that. For me, that is enough. Sure. I invited you here because there is something I would like to do. Uh, what is it? I want to release a Shao Lantern. Wow. I'd like you to be there for it. Remember Shao Lanterns? They should make them craftable again. Yes. So he agrees. <laughs> I apologize for its crude appearance. I have little skill Duh. in that regard. Don't be like that. It's great. Don't worry about you it. You are very kind, as usual. I try. <laughs> I'm also ether. Sorry about that. All right. It's time. Let's do it, boy. Together. Ah, oh, how symbolic. Nice. That's pretty cute. That's it, huh? I mean, I guess it means a lot. I would have definitely looked up to see if I could still see it. Apparently not. That's it? Just a gasp? As the shell lantern slowly disappears in the tranquil night sky, Shell's expression softens. Uh-huh, no surprise. Traveler. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> no problem? No, that was really cute. I kind of do want to do that myself. All right, there you go. Hello, Tao. This is beautiful. Walking up little stairs. Peaceful. Oh, God, this air is so refreshing. I know. And it's time I'm feeling 
she could float around all day and never get tired. I know. Cream! Gummies! <laughs> Fuel fruit! <laughs> what? Huh? Did you hear that? I sure did. I heard it too. Something about Bootfui and good vibes. Right? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. What is Hutao mm, cooking that up? That voice sounds really familiar. Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? Sure. Is she just... You and Pyle make your way up the mountain and search the sources shouting. As you can make it out, it's almonds and this cocoa paste that. It sounds delicious, that's for sure. The lively voice invigorates your steps and you ascend to the mountain in no time. You know... Isn't it like her her slam poetry wrapped stuff that she had last year with Venti? Wait! What are they doing here? I thought we I thought they said Hu Tao was gonna be here. What's Navia doing here? I had no idea. What? Navia, come on! What? Okay. Ah, well, if it isn't my dear partner. I guess we're not that far from Fontaine at this point. Told you that something good was going to happen during our travels. Today. No way. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. No way. It's just your lucky day. <laughs> Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Of course. Oh, and that reminds me. Happy Lantern Ride. Happy Lantern Ride to you too. Happy Lantern Ride. You too. <laughs> Happy Lantern Ride to you too. Wow. This is so cool. And that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? I can't believe I didn't recognize it. I really thought it was a hotel. Oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. I was got good ears. A giga bias, though. That or your voice is just really loud. <laughs> well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. A boss. Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Uh-huh. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. I know. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted <laughs> mountain. <laughs> it's not that deserted. There was something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? A recipe. No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. We just like to scream and echo. Perhaps. But the act of shouting was very <laughs> meaningful indeed. <laughs> That's just what mountain climbers do, right? Uh -huh. After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, right. as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. I get that. I see. It's not what you were shouting that matters, but the act of shouting itself. <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. It makes sense. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here, and they said it was fine. <laughs> Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the Yeet. locals are used to it by now. Nice. So, you see, it's not just me. <laughs> I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Pime on your turn. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> when you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? I guess not. <clears throat> not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Yeah, well, there you go. Oh, that's a pretty good way to release stress. Hunting. Mm. <laughs> what I choose to hunt depends on my mood. <laughs> Humans, sometimes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh -oh. why don't you two give it a try? Oh, Shout really? anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Uh-uh. I'm very worried. What are we going to scream now? Ether? Something like that? I feel like Clorinda and uh, Shenha would be good friends. Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. And I prefer to keep things bottled up. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Stop. I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. Oh no, I would scream. No need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top uh, of this mountain earlier. Uh, who? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? No way. Farina's also here? In Chiang Village? No way. Believe in your ears. It is indeed as you heard. Really? Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. And she was doing it first. Yes. We could just about make out someone yelling things like, <laughs> Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. No way. And what do you know? Uh, Miss Farina was standing right there, all red in the face. Uh, 
She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw it. <laughs> ah, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. Okay. Uh, so, you could actually hear what she was saying? <laughs> Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. No. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? And then tell you anyway after. Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some <sighs> stress relief as well. <laughs> she probably would have never thought. No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. Yeah, that's crazy. Was she alone? I think so. No, uh, we ran no. into Nervalet on the way here as well. No. He was already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. What? What? Nervalet was here too? The whole Fontaine gang's here. What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. T, what do you think? I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. T. Mm. Nervalet is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. True. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Sure did. Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. Really? My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. Yeah, right. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. Yeah, right. You Fontanians and your tea drinking. Yeah, and you thought Leo was bad, huh? Oh, it's not for me. I knew it'd be Ridesley, too. Ridesley, and now I have to buy him something. You made a bet. Seems like a fitting gift. It was just a spur-of-the-moment sort of bet. Yeah, right. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing. But he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. But you're giving him something symbolic. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road. And he wouldn't even mind. Yeah, it's about winning. Just like me with the kai thing that I lost. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> what kind of business do you want with him? In any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. Uh, what is it called again? <laughs> uh, oh no. Nervalet even mentioned it earlier. Oh no. <laughs> How did I read this meme before it even happened? Sunglow tea. Buy 10 boxes, get half off? Yes, yes, that's the one. Ah, you've been scammed. You didn't really buy 10 boxes, did you? <laughs> Please, do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? You bought 20 for 75 off, huh? Uh, that reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? Yeah. I hope it didn't put you out. A bit. Also about other plans for the day. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Oh, that's right. Who tells? We did come here from Huta. Let's see. I was. I had a reason to be Matrix. A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village, so we decided to come and see if we could run into her. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. <laughs> I'm sorry for keeping you. No harm done, partner. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Hotel. Deal. No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. All right. Mm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Really? Sounds reasonable. Sounds good. We're gonna head down. The really? Then. See you later. We've had so much emo, and us suddenly we're just hanging out more. This is so odd. What do I have to do to get you to yell from the top of this mountain? <laughs> Name your price. <laughs> you really want to hear it that bad, huh? Yes. I'm just curious is all. I have a feeling you'll say something amazing. Uh-huh. <sighs> I will pass. Come on. I prefer to let action speak louder than words. But sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's fun to just scream. <sighs> Whatever. Any farinas around here? Careful, there's a goat in the tea. A goatee! I get it. I see them! They're hanging out! No way! Wait, really? This is the least expected interaction I've ever seen in my life. So I guess we do get some Archon on Archon. Uh-huh. That's right! Shut up! Didn't Gumming say something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Yep. Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Afternoon tea might be more appropriate at this point. You exhaust me. Now, let's see what kind of I still want to get cake too. Even though we don't uh, have any. Yeah. Paimon's 
not seeing things as she is that Farina standing between Jiang Li and Hu Tao? I saw it too. Wonder what they're talking about. Probably tea. Zhang mm, knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina about Chao Ying Village. I don't know. Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. And want to make a bet? Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Maripede. Come on. But Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Sure. Let's say loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Kanji, that's how you pronounce it. Okay, deal. Shake my hand. Since Zhang Li is there, Paimon bets things are pretty tame. Oh, for sure. But and Farina's talking too, so she's at ease. It's decided. The arts. Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. Uh, then I vote for Hustler Hu Tao. <laughs> hey, no time to waste. Let's go see who's right. <laughs> I like Hustler Hu Tao angle. Zhang Li's doing most of the talking though. Boo! Good afternoon! <laughs> you didn't get them, although you did definitely try to jump scare. Oh great, now Paimon shouting too. Yep. Oh, well aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Oh, wow. Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. Uh-huh. That we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement. Must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. What is the entirety of Fontaine doing in this? Uh -huh. Oh, so both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon then. <laughs> I have keenly felt the passage of time since our last meeting. So many chums all in one place. No, 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 uh -huh. humble. Looks like someone's learned a thing or two from Zhang Li. Of course. Uh -um. I must admit, I am a bit surprised to see you here, Traveler. Why? But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, uh -huh. it makes sense that you <laughs> would be well-traveled and well-connected. Yeah? Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, mm -hmm. allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern rite. Happy lantern rite, Farina. It appears you have been to Fontaine then. Bongos, come on, man. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity <laughs> as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. <laughs> uh, that's quite high praise. <laughs> what I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. This is actually shocking. Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. Mm hmm. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative inspiration. Okay. There is definitely more to Mr. Zhang uh, than meets the eye. Uh, I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. Nah. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, <laughs> there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. I know. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? He's a nice guy. No, no, no. Aiyah. You're no common Aya. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Uh-huh. Huh? Does that mean Hu Tao also knows? Yes. You may not have heard, friends, but... <laughs> but? Miss uh, um, Hu Tao. Yeah? Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed... Hey, friends. Hustler Hu Tao. Pay up, Paimon. Uh, <laughs> Pay up! <laughs> Do you hear that, Paimon? She's a Tao's esteemed client. Okay, okay, you <laughs> hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. Alright then, puss in boots. Uh-huh. What's this about winning something? Oh, nothing, nothing. Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. Paimon's idea. <laughs> as to what you were talking about. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. You know me. That I do, my friend. <laughs> what was Paimon's guess then? Tour guide bongles. Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. Mm -hmm. <sighs> By newbie, you mean me, right? Don't say, oh, that also happened, because then she's going to scam me out of three bowls of food. If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was uh... also correct. Uh, oh, that's right. L. Mr. Zhang Li was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. Okay, what happened first, though? <laughs> you see? Paima was right, too. Yeah, but that's not difficult to guess that Zhang Li would teach someone something. That's all the man does. Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. 
Fine, keep your stash then. Hey, don't be upset, Traveler. I am. Hmm. How about this? You buy Pyme on a bull and Pyme on will also buy you a bull. Yeah, but you... you well, that's a scam. You eat way more than me. Uh, as for the third bull... Yeah. Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? But what? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say... I was... I, was, I thought you wanted to pay for it. I was like, what? I'll buy you a bull anytime you want. <laughs> I was just joking. What? Anyway, I should be the one treating you. Why? The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. Why would you pay me for that? Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Uh-huh. Did, uh, something happen recently, Farina? <laughs> huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not sure either. Uh, well, you know, with you enlisting the oh, no. funeral parlor and all. What? No. No. Oh, well, yes. Her cat. Really? Oh, no. Now they're organizing something. There is not a funeral. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the no, person. No, no, no. Please accept Paimon's deepest... No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like that, Paimon. <laughs> what is it like? Huh? But Paimon just thought, since you hired the services of a <laughs> funeral parlor and all... <laughs> Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. It isn't, but you could tell by how she talked about it. It wasn't that bad. Really, Paimon? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Liyue. Oh, no. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. No, not you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Hey, you brought it up. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed no. a breath of fresh air. <laughs> no, I, dude, I make these all the time, but even I wouldn't make one this bad. You might even call it a breath of fresh terror. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's <laughs> Really? I'll have to remember that for my ad poster. Your standard is even lower than mine. Oh, Paimon sees. That makes a lot of sense. Uh huh. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Longchang Funeral Parlor? Do you guys decide to split and meet in the middle? Well, not exactly. I can't understand why they're both here then. My original plan was to just relax okay, there you and go. enjoy the sights. Yeah. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. Yeah, yeah, this world is full of quinky dinks. It was a fated meeting indeed. Yes, fated. Zhongli sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. Mm -hmm. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. <laughs> who? Oh? Nur. Who was it? Nur. It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? Yeah, it was Nur. What? How did you guess that on your first try? I saw Navi and Glorand earlier. Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on. Today. You're right. It is. Uh, it is actually good. You have to everyone about your encounter with Navi and Clarin at the top of the mountain. One look at the pitiful expression on Farina's face is enough to convince you to leave out the part about the shouting. Huh? I never <laughs> thought Nervalette would be the type to get lost. Right. I'm sure he didn't get lost. I don't think so either. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. And I eat macaroni every day. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Uh-huh. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. Suspicious. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. For him, though, swimming would probably be the fastest route of them all. Do you think Nur and and Zhongli know? So, were you about the each other? pointed him in the right direction, Hu Tao? Zhongli did. Of course. Oh. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know? Yeah, the guide so to death. I also have a great sense of direction. Right. But, speaking of your friend... Yeah? What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? N no. No, he doesn't. Ugh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. How about bongles? I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. <laughs> all in all, he was only here for half a day. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Yeah, I, I mean, dude, when I take half a day off, I also feel like it's a holiday. 
Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. Yes. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. <laughs> it wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. Right. Is that so? <laughs> he knows. Wait, you didn't see him, Joey? He knows. Unfortunately, no. Oh, dude, I really want to see them interact. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so uh -huh. I decided to fetch some tea for them. That's very kind. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I know. I actually think you two would have hit it off. I know. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> he was just looking away thinking about the beautiful life. Judging by Zhang Li's acting and taking into consideration Nur's true identity, he knows. Could Charlie have been avoiding him on purpose? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. Don't even. Oh, I see. Sure. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Yet. Right? Yet. Well, with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. Mm-hmm, because you definitely don't know each other yet. That's right. She's got more friends than she knows what to do with. I have a certain charm about me. I'm good with people. <laughs> well, that's certainly true. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Really? Okay. Just tell him the Palais Marmonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. Yeah. <laughs> He shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. You don't know. Even clams open their shells Ooh, to let in fresh water chest. every once in a while, right? Yeah, you're right. If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. The he's thing is, the work just stacks to up. To prove it himself, since he handles that sort of thing now. But you know what I mean. Yeah, it makes sense. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. The entirety of Fontaine. He's the fair and impartial Eudex of Fontaine, head of the highest court in the land, otherwise known as the demon who controls all the paperwork in Fontaine. <laughs> I've never heard of a demon that boring before. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, whatever. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. Mm -hmm. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. All right then, Hutao. If I remember correctly, He's already several thousands of years old. Yup. Uh, you're quite right, Miss Huta. <laughs> hey, look at them. Oh? <laughs> Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. They're our besties. Oh, it's Navia and Cloran. I love them. Hey, over here. Dude, it has so many characters I love in this arc. Oh, take your time, by the way. We don't have all day. I saw you all chatting <laughs> over here. And we're wondering if we could join in. Uh, let me think about it. Mm, no. No, turn around and leave, please. <clears throat> um, please, excuse the interruption. <laughs> oh, so polite. <laughs> no apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. And you've been hustled. Ah, straight to the point. I like it. Yep. Everyone circles around you and begins to introduce themselves. Hutao's eyes light up when she hears about Corinne's profession. But a quick explanation of Farina and Navia seems to dispel some of her more misguided ideas. Oh, another cutscene? No way. Hmm, it's getting late. Yeah. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Go on a raft. Indeed. Then, Miss Farina. Tag along. Oh, uh, uh yes? <laughs> when are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Cute. Oh, um, I... I don't think that will be necessary. She has a vision now. She's fine. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. But you're friends. Um, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> it's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. I know. Mm, there are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Uh-huh. Exactly. Just like in those uh, stories. <laughs> Time to head home with them. <laughs> Eight paths oh, no. in a wood. Oh, Beside no. Beside them, an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. Uh-huh. But if you take a closer look, 
There may be something to talk. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? I don't know. What could it mean? Death. In this wood, where mystery screams. We never scream here. <laughs> <laughs> of course. F uh, Farina. <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. Uh huh. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Yes. Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Yes. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. Yes. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I did it for 500 years. I'm kind of tired of that shit. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. Yep. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Well, have you all had a good time? Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Good. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> it's fine. You thanked us more than enough already. Aw. The next time you're in the it's sweet. of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Look at that. Dim sum. Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks Brunch. or desserts? Brunch. They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Yeah. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Yep. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so <laughs> sweet and delicious. Paimon knows you'll love them. The cake for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Cool. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? You're not bringing home any souvenirs? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. From a Fontanian salesman? A kite, a parasol, a little oh. tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. Really? Clorand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. That's why you got her something. So all you're bringing back with you is that tea? <laughs> and some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for siege ween. Wow. Clorand isn't much of a shopaholic. Good for her. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. That's what I mean. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. Uh huh. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. What about you, Farina? Me? Oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Lovely. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. Yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> it's very cute that she just she's just enjoying her time. They should all be things I can use, I think. So you fell for a few marketing traps then. <laughs> uh, now Paimon's even more confused. What do you mean? If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Winnie's magic packets? Yep. <laughs> Actually, they're carrying it for you. Monsieur Nervillet took them with him. <laughs> oh, so that's fair. Wait, what? Yep. Why did he take them? He's not hoarding treasure, is he? That's what he is a treasure hoarder. <laughs> that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Uh huh. Monsieur Nervillet just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. Yeah, sure. I felt a bit bad at first, but, uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> bad. He even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Maripede for me once he's done with the day's work. Wow. Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. It's because he's a dragon. He doesn't need sleep. See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. Yeah. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Fair. Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as up to <laughs> as he thought. Uh-huh. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, uh, proactive, and uh, responsible She's teasing. Right, Zhang Li? <laughs> Indeed. He's just like, yup. Yup, you're right. Said Nervale offered to deliver her gifts no to way. So if we go to the entrance of the fortress of Maripede, no maybe way. We'll run into no way. But we don't know exactly 
when he'll show up. That's insane. Oh, that reminds me. A new year of work is about to begin. Uh-huh. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhongli, you know you can come to me. You, I'm all ears. You want to raise? Does the director have any concerns? <laughs> it just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today and much less talkative than usual. <laughs> he barely said anything other than Do her voice. Is that so? Yep. And indeed. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say we're having a midlife crisis. <laughs> no. You're getting to be around that age after all. Hotel, stop. Is that so? Indeed. <laughs> 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 I jest. You're a funny guy, ner Given its nerd. Nerd, Zhongli. Chaoying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. Uh huh. Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a laziness for inactivity. We love it. I apologize for making you worry. No, no. Uh, um, I see. What do He's you just think, been thinking Tyler? about nerd. Is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy mood too? <sighs> out of mind, out of sight. I mean, different worlds should not collide. Wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. <laughs> Thanks, Uta. Indeed. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> You're a little silly guy. I'm saying it. Hey, girlies. Well, everyone, make sure that you've got all your belongings with you before we leave. Nerd took them all. If there's any souvenirs anyone still wants to buy... The time is now. No. Reliable as ever, Miss President. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Florian is right, though. You really are reliable. <laughs> it's not what she's saying. It's the way she's saying it. <laughs> I know. I will say, but I never thought you'd be so easygoing outside of work, Clorant. <laughs> the tone of voice you use when you're working doesn't exactly make you seem like the type who enjoys interacting with people. <laughs> well, I try to keep my professional and private life separate. That includes my behavior. Fair enough. You take care now, traveler. Paimon. <laughs> Don't worry, your partner's very strong. Ah, trying to act cool now, are we? Of course. <laughs> Well, I guess it's not an act for you, is it? I am very cool. You are indeed quite strong. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's been great talking to you all. I'm really glad I decided to come to Chaoying Village. Nice. Maybe we could go on another trip together sometime? Uh, sure. I would like to be there. With these three? That's the gang I'm willing to hang out with. Nur. here I come. Who would have ever expected Lantern Ride to end in Fontaine with Nur? <laughs> How? Also, this place is like impossible to get to. We really do need a waypoint yeah. there of some sort. Bee doop boop. Hey, Nerf. Look, it's New Village. We lucked out. What do you mean lucked out? He was waiting for us. This is why is this like tension build up? Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. You can say that. Few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, mm -hmm. I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. Sure. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Nova? <laughs> I don't feel targeted by that. Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. Sure, same. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Sure. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chaoying Village for half a day? You can't, you know, you, you, uh, p work piles up. Hmm? Huh? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, <laughs> rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. <laughs> Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chaoying Village. I know everything, Nur. You're giving him yet a quick summary of everything that happened today. I see. Thank you for informing me. So, do you deliver the gifts? Yes, they have been safely delivered. Nice. Ah. <laughs> I have to hand it to Cloran. Yeah. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty <laughs> Udex at her beck and call. Right. I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. Uh-huh. All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Merope. Ah. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> this quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you think? Uh-huh. Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. Oh, you're gonna be tired of this tea within five packs and you've ten, so good luck. Uh, about that. <laughs> Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Why? What he happened? got us sold! It was by ten bucks. No! Ten he got hustled! Ah, 
That explains it then. <laughs> well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. Yeah, good luck with that. You have my thanks. I'm gonna oh, see if I can talk to him. something else I'd like to give to you. Oh. This is... Uh. A stone slate. Engraved with a symbolic design. Uh-huh. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. Whoa. A legal codex, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. Right. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. Uh huh. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. Wonderful. We joked with Claran some time ago about gifting you a legal code. <laughs> so, here you go. <laughs> ah, flamed. So that's what this is about. Yeah, you get flamed. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. Yeah, that's a banger. I like it. It is a very good attempt. <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. <laughs> That's an impressive level of commitment. I really like that. A gift of this significance deserves to be put on display. Yes! And I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Banger. Ah, oh, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. It's funny. Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. <laughs> but we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sijuin is collected. To never be seen again. That sounds good to me. <laughs> so that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village. Uh-huh. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity there it is. to taste the local spring water. So what's the verdict? The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. Uh-huh. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. Yep. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Yep. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. That sounds great. As I say in Liwa, a balance between work and play is sure to keep your troubles at bay. Then we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. Exactly. If you say so, like, you know you don't have to justify a vacation, right? I don't know. You can just take one. Why does half this story feel targeted? After all, you're Stop. only bereft of time. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. <laughs> She's so like <laughs> acting like using their voice and talking shit all the you're time. Quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. Yeah. However, after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Yeah. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning. I decided to depart at once. And how was it? Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. <laughs> Very spontaneous. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. Uh -huh. At first, soil from the ground is granular <laughs> and unforgiving, but mm -hmm. had the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. Yep. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted, but now... I have participated in their very making. Look at you. This is also something I made today. What is it? Oh, that's so cool. It's like a dragon ladle. Is that what you call it? La la ladle? 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 Oh, wow. It, what a big... La I don't know how to pronounce it. That's a ladle? Ladle. I meant that it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. Well, the joke is it's a half-dragon Loch Ness creature. That was indeed one of my inspirations. Yeah, it's amazing. And the color matches your style. Really? You like it? I love it. To tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. This is fine. Just catch it up with a buddy. Around such an important holiday such as this, human custom will dictate that gifts should be in order. Uh-huh. But I'm afraid this is all I can offer. Uh, if you'll have it, that is. Can I really keep this? You made it by hand and everything. That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accept it. Aww, then I accept. Thank you. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Right. Happy Lantern Right, Nur. But also, that reminds me. You pass along the advice for Nur's vacation. 
Hmm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. Yes. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self <laughs> It's true. Something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. You know, the thing is, it's really difficult when you're your own boss. But I suppose I understand her point. Yeah. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. I know. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. Also, I know. But now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. I still need to figure that out for myself. There it is. No way. That's so cool. Leisurely sea beast. Soup ladle. Ladle? I already forgot she said it. Gift to you by Nuviet during the lantern ride. Its creation by his own hand was a product of spontaneous decision during his spontaneous outing. <laughs> And this holds exceptional meaning. However, perhaps because the Udex was on vacation at that time, this fantastical sea creature inspired soup ladle gives the senses leisure. Sure to taste various waters, you might perhaps gain insights, would you not normally? So, so cool. Lantern Rite marks the start of the new year in Liyue. Yep. In the spirit of the season, then, I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Same to you, Ner. What a gift. So cool. Well, I want to go back to Liyua still. What the? Dude, this final part had so many... That's nuts. All right. Back to Liyua. Hey, everybody. Happy Lantern Rite once more. What an incredible arc this whole thing was. It's... Very cool. It felt a lot more casual than last year. Last year... But I guess they ended this with the same kind of... Everyone meeting each other. The whole hubbub. <laughs> the whole hustle bustle. Whatever you want to call it. I like this. The arc, obviously, relatable, which is usually how they get you to be all emo, or, well, me anyway. But I really enjoyed it, and I love the interactions between characters, and am a big fan of everything they're doing. But, you know, I'm just always happy when there's new stuff. Happy Lantern Rite. I hope you had a wonderful year, and we'll have a wonderful one from here on out, too. And, uh, I think that's everything. I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye-bye.